Chapter 1261. When the official Weibo post was posted, it caused an uproar among the netizens. The official Weibo account proved at least a few things. First, what was captured on camera that day was true. Ethan did not deny it. Secondly, that person was really Ethan. As expected, he was handsome, young, capable, and rich. He was simply a winner in life. No one had expected that the man who had been controlling Hunt Group all these years would be so charming. In particular, the last sentence made many niche groups very excited. Because of their orientation, niche groups were often scrutinized. It was difficult for others to understand them. Even if many people on the internet would fangirl over good-looking people from minority groups, they were good-looking and rich. If they were ugly, no one would want to bat an eye at them. But most of them were ordinary people. How could there be so many handsome and rich people? However, Ethan actually expressed his respect to everyone. How could they not feel warm? For a moment, many people's evaluation of Ethan became better. However, as Cyrus had expected, there were still repercussions. Some of the older upper echelons and shareholders of Hunt Group had a huge reaction to this matter. Although Ethan had suppressed it on the surface, how could they completely acknowledge Ethan's actions? It was precisely because of their various reactions that Peter could split them apart, rope them in, and accumulate the strength to deal with Ethan. Comma. Ashley and the others also learned about Ethan's appearance. When Ashley found out that the boyfriend Kinsey brought back was actually the head of Hunt Group, Ashley stood up in shock and accidentally knocked over the coffee beside her. The room was filled with a strong aroma. Trembling, she picked up her phone and looked at the photo again. After looking at it carefully for a while, she confirmed that it was really Kinsey's boyfriend. His name and appearance were all correct. Thinking of how she had treated Ethan and made things difficult for him, Ashley felt extremely regretful. But it was too late for regrets. There was no turning back. What had been done could no longer be undone. She really did not expect Kinsey to have such an opportunity to obtain Ethan's favor. Was it really completely impossible for her to catch up to her or even surpass her? However, after reading all the news, Ashley was finally relieved. It seems that Ethan doesn't really treat her as his girlfriend. I thought she had really become a phoenix. It turns out that Ethan likes men and just used her as a cover. She patted her chest gently and sighed. No wonder Ethan didn't care about how the Woods family looked down on him. It turns out that the two of them only had such a superficial relationship. I knew it. How could Kinsey have become his girlfriend? This also explains why King Ping Media Company wanted to stand up for Kinsey. It turns out that they have long thought highly of her and wanted her to be Ethan's contracted girlfriend. The thought reassured her completely. In this way, even if Kinsey could obtain some resources from Ethan, she would only be a pawn that could be abandoned at any time. There was nothing to be envious of. Chapter 1262. Ashley's mood fluctuated. She thought for a while before calming down. However, this news made old Master Wood so angry that his heart hurt. He wasn't worried about Kinsey's future, but he really wanted her to be happy and settle down. He didn't expect that she and Ethan were just an act. To think that he had always been so assured that Kinsey had found a good man. The assistant poured tea for him and calmed him down. After a long time, old Master Woods finally recovered. What kind of sin did she commit? How could my good granddaughter meet such a person? The assistant persuaded, you can't believe everything on the internet. It might not be true. Hunt Group has already made a statement on their official Weibo account. How can such a big corporation still lie through their teeth? Old Master Woods was furious again. After a while, he appeared in the living room. Robin, Sally, and Ashley were all sitting on the sofa. They were worried and had obviously seen the news. Ashley held old Master Woods and said, Grandpa, don't be too anxious. Things might not be that bad. Kinsey is still young. Even if something happens to her, it won't affect her future. In a few days, we'll call her back and persuade her. How much longer can we wait? We have to get her back now. But mom just called her and the call didn't get through, Ashley said. Maybe she's busy with work. When old Master Woods heard that the call couldn't go through, he became even more worried and said, then hurry up and call again. 
At this moment, Kinsey was playing a game with Joshua. Because she didn't want to be disturbed, she had already turned off the communication function. All the calls were filtered through, so they naturally couldn't get through to her. She didn't check her WeChat at all either. She didn't expect Old Master Woods and the others to pay so much attention to this matter. After all, it was just a piece of news. Although she had been on the list of hot searches for a day, she wouldn't have noticed it if it weren't for her circle of people. Left flank, left flank, defend. Hurry, 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 Joshua commanded calmly as he operated. Kinsey followed suit. Sam nibbled on durian and watched the battle happily. From time to time, he even gave Kinsey a bite. Joshua smelled it and pretended to vomit. Kinsey said to Sam, be good. Go to the kitchen and eat before coming out. Sigh. People who liked durians really had no human rights. Oh. Sam held the plate and went toward the kitchen. Comma. Peter began to divide the members of Hunt Group. With Ethan liking men and not listening to persuasion, his progress was much better than before. Especially since many of these people were old friends of his and very sentimental. CEO Hunt, it's great that you were able to come back and take charge of the overall situation. Actually, this company still needs someone with a certain amount of experience to manage it. Those who have experienced more things will have a wider vision and know what to do. That's right, that's right. We welcome CEO Hunt back. However, Mr. Hunt is too ruthless. I'm afraid it'll be difficult to get him to give up his seat for a while. This group of people was old-fashioned to begin with. In the past few years, they became less and less important. The fact that Ethan liked men became the fuse, making them feel that Ethan was already estranged from them. Chapter 1263. Instead of waiting for death, it was better to cooperate with Peter. A person of the same age as them was the best. Moreover, if they really elected Peter, they could naturally gain bigger benefits as elders in the company. Peter smiled and said, actually, it's not a big deal for Ethan to be the person in charge, but as a father, as a member of Hunt Group, and as a member of the Hunt family, I have to think about the interests of the greater people, not one person and one family. Ethan is a little off track now. As a father, I'm naturally duty-bound to turn everything back on track. Yes, 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 that makes sense. That's reasonable, everyone agreed. However, they had all forgotten who was the one who supported the entire hunt group in times of danger and saved everyone's interests. It's just that we're not important to Ethan now. He would rather believe those immature brats than use us experienced elders. CEO Hunt, if this continues, something will really happen sooner or later. Don't worry, everyone. Since I've promised to give you a better future, I'll definitely give you an explanation, Peter said. However, the people he contacted now were not important to Ethan at all. They seemed to be worthless. He was worried. Simona rarely went out recently. She had embarrassed herself in the entertainment industry a few times, and her fans would scold her whenever she appeared. She was really angry and reduced the number of times she went out. She'd spent the last few days at home taking care of herself. She'd even arranged to meet a private doctor for a custom beauty service. Seeing Peter's worried expression, she asked gently, what's troubling you? It's all about Hunt Group. I've won over many people in my camp, but they're all people who aren't important. Even with them, they can't pose a threat to Ethan. Simona lowered her head in thought. How are the shares coming along? Soon, my shares will be more than what Ethan has combined. Peter was happy. This was truly exciting news. He was secretly buying shares of Hunt Group. Coupled with the 10% that Nick had secretly given him and the 10% that Cyrus had given him, he would soon surpass Ethan and become the biggest shareholder. At that time, the re-election of the person in charge would be guaranteed. It was just a matter of manpower. It was indeed a problem. He still needed to get more people with authority to stand on his side in order to truly win without a chance of losing. This was indeed tricky. Simona reached out and gently rubbed the ring on her finger, thinking. Peter said, but don't worry, I'll definitely settle this matter as soon as possible and get back what's ours. Simona said, why don't I meet Ethan and persuade him to put these people in an important position? 
At that time, these people standing on your side will be the biggest blow to him. But how can you convince him? He hates you. Peter did not believe that Simona had such an ability. It was true that Simona did not have such an ability, but she rubbed her ring, wanting to give it a try. It was just like in the beginning. It was always good to try. It was just that she hadn't tried this method in a long time. Chapter 1264 Hubby, I have my ways and want to share your burden, Simona said with a smile. You should have a share in Hunt Group. However, as your son, Ethan doesn't care about you at all. I really can't stand it anymore. Just let me do something for you. Peter asked, what are you going to do? I'm just trying my best to persuade him. There's nothing else I can do, Simona evaded. Seeing that she was docile and loved him the most, Peter nodded in agreement. But you have to be careful. I will, hubby, Simona said gently. She would definitely do her best in this matter. Whether she could help Peter or not was a small matter, but if she got the family business, it would belong to Cyrus. This was enough for her to put in all her effort. Ethan didn't agree to meet Simona. When the call reached Edwin, it was intercepted. Simona didn't even have a chance to talk to Ethan directly. However, Ethan still had to participate in social and business activities. Simona still found a way to spend more than half an hour alone with him. No one knew what Simona had said in the past half hour. But the next day, Ethan gave the important positions and decisions in the company to the old shareholders who were no longer important. This caused an uproar in the company. Because it was obvious that this was a very stupid decision. They wondered why Ethan did this. However, he had always been firm. Although the others had objections, they did not dare to refute him. Even so, the dissatisfied voices in the company gradually increased. Peter really did not expect Simona to have such an ability. How did you do it? I just slandered these people in front of him. I didn't expect it to work, Simona said. Peter nodded. That's true. All these years, if it weren't for my father supporting the company, the company might not have been able to develop as much as it has now. After all, Ethan is still young and impetuous. It's easy for him to lose his rationality and be biased. It's really not appropriate to let him manage Hunt Group. It's really not a matter of age. Simona smiled. Of course. All of this should have been yours. She played with her ring for a moment. Just to be sure, she took it off and put it in the safe. She wouldn't use it again, and she didn't want anyone to discover her secret. As for Hunt Group, the matter also attracted Patricia's attention. Ethan had made an unusual decision, which made her very worried. However, when she called Ethan, his attitude was as usual. He was very respectful to her, but he didn't tell Patricia his plans. When Kinsey received Patricia's call, she had just come out of an event. She found Patricia's car and followed her to a clubhouse. So, what can I do for you? She asked. You've heard about the matter with Hunt Group, haven't you? I don't know what you're referring to. I don't usually interfere in work matters, nor do I pry, Kinsey said honestly. Patricia said, you really don't know anything. Previously, Simona met Ethan. After Ethan returned, he gave away important positions to the people who shouldn't be given important positions and dismissed the positions of some people who shouldn't be dismissed from their positions. Chapter 1265 Kinsey was surprised. Such a thing happened. If the matter hadn't blown up, I wouldn't have come to find you, Patricia said. Ethan's actions have already caused a huge conflict. If I don't interfere, I'm afraid something will happen. Kinsey said, I believe he has his own reasons for doing all this. Even if we can't figure it out at the moment, there's no need to doubt him. Patricia said, it's a good thing that you believe him. But aren't you worried at all? Don't you want to know what Simona said? If he wanted to tell me, he would have told me himself. He didn't tell me, so he didn't think it was necessary. Kinsey smiled. Patricia could tell that Kinsey didn't intend to meddle in this matter, nor would she help ask Ethan about it. Patricia sighed. This might be the main reason why she and Kinsey were unable to be as close as mother and daughter. If something really happens, don't regret it. With that, Patricia took her bag and left. Kinsey thought for a moment and said, I won't regret it. 
it was because Ethan would never do anything that would make her regret it. In this world, she trusted this man the most. He had said that he would protect her and the two munchkins for the rest of his life, so he would definitely not let anything bad happen. He promised. And she believed him. There was no doubt. After returning home, Kinsey saw that Ethan's expression was normal. It was the kind of normal expression that was not fake. She reached out her arms and hugged him gently. Are you tired? She asked simply. No, Ethan buried his head in her shoulder. Even so, Kinsey still massaged his shoulders. Ethan's dry and warm palm covered the back of her hand. You're tired too. There's no need. I've only been to one event in the last few days, that's all, Kinsey said with a smile. I even had Aunt Chen pick up some groceries for me. I'll cook something nice for you later. Close your eyes. Ethan closed his eyes obediently, but the smile on his lips remained. As the matter between Ethan and Frank had been exposed on the internet, when Kinsey was free to go out and play, she would go out with Ethan while dressed in a male outfit. It was great to be open about things. Even if she was photographed, there was no need to explain further. In that case, no one would ever think of her. It seemed that being exposed wasn't entirely a bad thing. Moreover, the paparazzi and reporters were sometimes quite strange. When the truth was exposed, their desire to capture them on camera was not as strong. Perhaps the next time their strong desire to follow them would be ignited was when Ethan broke up with Frank or when Ethan was with someone else. Kinsey was wearing men's clothes and a baseball cap. After buying a bottle of Coke, she happily got into Ethan's car. I'm thirsty too, Ethan said. Kinsey unscrewed the cap and gave it to him. Ethan drank half of it in one go. Kinsey watched as the Coke entered his mouth. His Adam's apple bobbed, and his perfect Adam's apple gulped the Coke bit by bit. Boo-hoo, she was only allowed to buy one bottle each time. After buying it, he said that he was thirsty. Kinsey knew that he didn't want her to drink too much, but she was still worried that he was really thirsty and couldn't bear to not let him drink it. He was really too much. Chapter 1266. Kinsey took the bottle back and looked at the half-empty bottle of Coke. She sighed. Sigh, she had chosen her husband. What could she do? She would just spoil him, then. She had to bear with it. She took two large gulps. The cool liquid poured down her throat and finally soothed her broken heart. She was about to take a third sip when her phone rang. She put it on speaker. Hello. It's me. The voice on the other end was gentle and firm. It was Julia's voice that she had not heard in a long time. Kinsey said happily, President Wood, why are you looking for me? Julia laughed. Is it so difficult for you to call me sister? Sister, Kinsey changed the way she addressed her. Only then did Julia say seriously, what's going on between you and Ethan? What do you mean? What happened? Kinsey didn't understand. We've all seen the scandal between him and Frank. Everyone is worried about you. Kinsey's lips twitched slightly. It was indeed difficult to explain in a few words, and it was difficult to say over the phone. Julia said, does Ethan like women or both men and women? Kinsey, I know you have your own opinions and don't need anyone to worry about you. But your relationship with Ethan is really dangerous. Sister, listen to me, Kinsey glanced at Ethan who was driving and tried to explain. Ethan's expression changed slightly. However, Julia was really worried this time. She didn't give her a chance to explain at all. Kinsey, you don't have to help him clarify. If he's gay, then he'll definitely betray your marriage seeing as how he even hid this from you. I don't deny that sexual orientation is one's private matter, but if he chose to be with you even though he knows that he likes men, then he's a scumbag who will betray his marriage. If he likes both men and women, but he's dating someone else while dating you, he's still a scumbag. The person who had been called a scumbag repeatedly gripped the steering wheel with both hands, and his expression turned a few degrees colder. However, Kinsey couldn't interrupt at all. She quickly turned off the speaker. Even so, Julius' words continued. Kinsey, it's possible he's only using you as a cover to hide the fact that he likes men. Are you only in a contractual relationship with him? Although I can somewhat accept this, I still think it's very risky. After all, it's a fact that he's good-looking and outstanding. 
I'm afraid that you'll fall in love with him even if you're just in a contractual relationship. If that happens, you'll also be in danger, silly girl. Besides, you're also good-looking and outstanding. What if he also has feelings for you but can't be responsible for you? Julia's heart truly ached for Kinsey, so after knowing about the matter, she felt uneasy. In addition, Old Master Woods had also asked her to help inquire about the situation. Therefore, Julia had really thought a lot over the past two days. The thoughts in her mind far exceeded what she said. She had come up with a ton of scripts and thought of all kinds of possible situations. The more she thought about it, the more uneasy she felt. Kinsey, no matter what, that man is dangerous. I think you need to stay away from him, completely and utterly. Sister, the truth is not what you think. Chapter 1267 Julia said helplessly, he's already been photographed, and he didn't deny it. In any case, it's not a wise choice for you to be by his side. In the first two possibilities, he's an unparalleled scumbag. In the third possibility, I'm just worried that you'll become infatuated with him. Julia had seen Ethan before. She had seen his methods and abilities before. Besides, he had also seen Kinsey's eyes every time she looked at him. There was admiration and deep love in her eyes. It was undeniable that that man was very outstanding, but no matter how outstanding Amon's work ability was, he was still unsuitable for Kinsey. His scumbag nature would even hurt people. The better he was, the more it hurt. Julia said worriedly, where are you? Why don't we talk in person? Kinsey agreed immediately. Then you should decide on a place first. It'll be right there. Julia heaved a sigh of relief when she heard that Kinsey had agreed to meet. A lot of things were easier to talk about compared to when they were on the phone. Communication would be much smoother as well. She found a place, booked a private room, and sent the location to Kinsey. While waiting, she replied to a call from Old Master Woods and told him that she would talk to Kinsey. Jared, Eva, and the others were also very concerned about this matter. However, it was not convenient for them to pester Julia about it. They had already sent a WeChat message to understand the situation, afraid that Kinsey would fall for that monst trick. Julia sighed. Previously, she was quite relieved that Kinsey was able to find someone she truly loved in this complicated circle. Now, she was left with nothing but worries. She scrolled through the news as she waited. In the past few days, there had been a few scandals about Ethan being with men. There were even people from the company who revealed that they had seen Ethan stay in the office with a man and he had gone out for a tryst. They made it sound so real that it was difficult to tell if it was true or not. However, what was certain was that Ethan and Frank's matter could not be disputed. Julia held her phone and subconsciously turned it in her hand, waiting for Kinsey to come over. After receiving the address, Kinsey showed it to Ethan. Ethan said, I'll go with you to see her. Ahem. Kinsey nodded. It just so happened that she was wearing male clothes now. She could just clarify things when they met. Julia had always treated her sincerely, and Kinsey had no intention of hiding it from her. Julia was in the private room, looking at her phone for a while. Kinsey had not arrived yet. She lifted the curtains and looked downstairs. Of course, she did not see anything. As she was thinking, there was finally a knock on the private room door. Julia immediately rushed over and opened the door. The waiter standing outside was stunned and said, Sorry to disturb you. Do you need a refill of coffee? No, thank you. Julia closed the door. There was another knock on the door. She opened it again. There's really no Nita. Then, she saw clearly that the person standing in front of her this time was Ethan. The man was tall and had a slightly impatient look on his face. The other man standing beside him was Frank, who was on the trending searches with him. Frank had delicate features and looked like a pretty boy who was easy to accept. However, Julia did not treat him well. No matter how good-looking he was, he could not commit sins with his looks. Julia frowned. What are you doing here? Chapter 1268. Sister, Frank smiled, and her eyes were curved. She pushed the door open and walked in. Her voice was clear and sweet. How was she a man? She was clearly a delicate woman. You, you're Kinsey. 
Julia recognized her voice. Kinsey smiled. Yes, it's me. All of a sudden, Julia completely understood that there was no Frank. The rumors about Ethan liking men were false. It was a random guess from someone who did not know the truth. She relaxed instantly. Kinsey and Ethan had already walked into the private room and sat down. Julia understood everything without further explanation. Julia sat down in relief. How did you dress up? You look quite similar to a boy. Let me show you. Kinsey stretched out her neck and approached Julia. Julia held her face and looked at it for a while. She was amazed and said with a smile, with your skills, those special effects makeup artists will have to worry about losing their jobs. So, you deliberately dressed up like this to deceive others? Not really. I've dressed like this before. After being photographed this time, I had to make the best of it. I didn't expect the news to catch your attention. Julia glanced at Ethan and knew that she was really in the wrong this time. She couldn't help but feel a little embarrassed. Fortunately, those words were said over the phone, so Ethan probably didn't hear them. She said, it's good that there's no conflict between you two. I can rest assured and explain to Grandpa. Does Grandpa know? Ever since he found out that you've entered the entertainment industry, Grandpa has become used to keeping up with entertainment news. How could he not know? He's been worried these past few days. Fortunately, the truth of the matter is far from what I imagined. Kinsey smiled. I thought you guys wouldn't read such news. I was careless. It's good that you've made things clear. Nobody out there knows about this yet, do they? Kinsey nodded. Only the people close to me know. I thought that I didn't have to specially clarify such a thing. At the same time, it would give me a chance to catch my breath. Besides, it didn't have any negative effects on outsiders, so I didn't specially explain it. Julia knew that she was one of Kinsey's most trusted people. She understood in her heart that there was no need to let those who did not really care about Kinsey know about this matter. It was enough for those around her to know as they would not cause trouble. They hadn't seen each other for a long time and chatted for a while until Kinsey received a work call. Julia wore rose-colored lenses now. The more she looked at Ethan, the more satisfied she was. She smiled and said, then I won't waste your time. Go home early. When Julia passed by Kinsey, she grabbed her hand and whispered. I take back what I said on the phone. But you have to protect yourself too. Yes, I will. Please don't mind my words earlier. I don't, Ethan replied instead of Kinsey. Julia quickly turned to look at him. Ethan coughed lightly and said, don't worry, I won't be a scumbag. Julia looked at Kinsey. Kinsey apologized. I'm sorry. I put the call on speaker when I was in the car. Julia. All right, Ethan was going to hate her. However, being hated by her was not a big deal. Anyway, he liked Kinsey. Ethan left with Kinsey. Julia stood there for a long time before packing up and leaving. Chapter 1269. She's just being kind, Kinsey said after she went out. Ethan stopped in his tracks. I don't mind whatever they say about me. He reached out and ruffled her hair with his palm. She blinked and reached out her fingers to clasp them around his fingers. On Peter's side, as he was a legitimate member of the Hunt family and also old Master Hunt's son, coupled with the support of some people in Hunt Group, he called for a general shareholders meeting. This meeting had always been a very important meeting. The decision to remove the person in charge would also happen at a shareholders meeting. With Ethan's status in Hunt Group, it had been more than 10 years since the head of the group had been dismissed from his post. But this time, Peter was aggressive. Bastard. Old Master Hunt slammed the table in anger. He's really rebelling. If it weren't for him, Hunt Group wouldn't have fallen apart. Now, he's going to do it again. Ethan said calmly, since he insists, I'll fight him. Ethan, you have to know that now that he has already said that he wants to hold a shareholders meeting. Who knows how many moves he has made in private. Do you know his current situation? Old Master Hunt asked. Don't worry, Grandpa. I won't let him do what he wants. Old Master Hunt took a deep look at his grandson standing in front of him. This was the successor he was most satisfied with. All these years, Ethan had indeed supported the entire company. He said, in that case, I'm relieved. Your father is ambitious but weak. 
He's strong on the outside but weak on the inside. He can't be of much use. He has some ability to do things in the company, but he's not qualified to take charge of the entire company. You have to remember that there are hundreds of thousands of people in Hunt Group. They are all waiting to support their families. Their future is in your hands. You can't lose this time. I understand. Ethan nodded. He came out of Old Master Hunt's study. Downstairs, Old Madam Hunt and Patricia looked at him worriedly, especially Old Madam Hunt. Previously, she had given all her shares to Cyrus. She had always felt guilty about this, but she didn't dare to mention it to Ethan. However, she did not expect Peter to hold a shareholders meeting at such a time. At such meetings, the number of shares one held determined how much authority one had. Wasn't Ethan in the limelight now? Ethan came down the stairs. Every step he took seemed to step on old Madam Hunt's heart. Her eyes were filled with guilt and regret, but when she looked at her godlike grandson, she pursed her lips and could not say a word. When is the meeting? Patricia asked. In three days. Patricia said, if there's anything you need me to do, just tell me. Ethan nodded. I will. After Ethan left, old Madam Hunt still didn't say a word. Mom, you don't look too good. Are you okay? Patricia noticed her abnormality and asked with concern. I'm fine. Old Madam Hunt's eyes were evasive. When she returned to her room, old Madam Hunt felt that something was wrong. Chapter 1270. After thinking for a while, she decided to call Cyrus. Having already done something wrong, she intended to remedy it now. Cyrus picked up after a long time. Cyrus, let's meet, old Madam Hunt said. Cyrus agreed. Old Madam Hunt took a car and arrived at the agreed place. When Cyrus entered, he looked a little haggard. He did not look like he was about to hold a shareholders meeting. Instead, he seemed to have been angered by something and was restraining his emotions. At this moment, old Madam Hunt was no longer in the mood to care about his mood. She said, Cyrus, tell me honestly. At the shareholders meeting, are you and your father planning to remove Ethan from his position as the head of Hunt Group? Cyrus didn't avoid her question and said, now that things have come to this, I'm not afraid to tell you the truth. Grandma, Hunt Group doesn't just belong to Ethan alone. My father and I both have the surname Hunt, and we have the blood of you and Grandpa flowing in our veins. Since Ethan has a share of Hunt Group, we should also have a share, right? This is very normal, right? You won't be biased toward Ethan alone, right? Your grandfather and I will definitely leave your share to you. But you can't touch the entire Hunt Group. Cyrus smiled. Grandma, of course, I know you're kind. But we also want to help you build and take care of the Hunt Corporation. My father and I didn't do anything wrong, right? If we really didn't care about your feelings and weren't filial, we wouldn't be in a hurry to take on such a responsibility. At such a time, Cyrus was still saying such dignified words. Old Madam Hunt finally understood that Cyrus and Peter had come prepared. From the moment they returned, they had decided to snatch the huge Hunt group away from them. She had really underestimated them. Cyrus, you and your father can't afford to take on the huge Hunt group. I advise you to do your own jobs well. Ethan has never hated you, so don't ask for trouble. This is also my advice to you. It'll be a huge blow to the entire family and business. I don't want to see such a thing happen between you and Ethan. Cyrus looked like he had been taught a lesson, but he didn't relent at all. Grandma, don't worry. Even if Dad and I are back in power, we'll arrange a good position for Ethan. We definitely won't do anything to him just because of jealousy. In that case, I won't say anything more, old Madam Hunt said. I hope you can return the shares I transferred to you previously. When Cyrus heard this, his expression darkened. He cursed the old witch in his heart and sat up straight. Grandma, why would you ask that? I'm also your grandson. Shares are useful to the market now. Besides, I can't return them all to you in such a short time. How long will it take for you to return them? Old Madam Hunt asked. Cyrus had no intention of returning them at all. However, he did not want to completely fall out with Old Madam Hunt, so he said perfunctorily, I'll definitely return them to you before the shareholders meeting. Don't tell anyone first. 
I'll definitely prepare all the procedures and bring my lawyer to see you and return the shares to you. Chapter 1271. With his words, old Madam Hunt was finally relieved. Seeing that the child was worth teaching, she said sincerely, Cyrus, it's not that I don't dote on you and don't want to let you take charge of the company. It's just that the huge Hunt group is related to the survival of hundreds of thousands of people and the stability of many industries. I don't want to see any chaos. What should be given to you will be given to you. Your grandfather and I will not be biased in the future. Don't fight with Ethan and let the third party benefit from the situation. Do you understand? Cyrus pretended to agree. Don't worry, I won't do that kind of thing. I'm a member of the Hunt family, so I want to see the Hunt family harmonious too. Grandma, take care of yourself. Otherwise, you won't be able to witness the day I reclaim all the power. Cyrus's words were pleasant to hear. Old Madam Hunt was finally at peace again. As long as she got all the shares back, Cyrus and his son would not pose a strong threat to Ethan even if they held a shareholders meeting. Therefore, old Madam Hunt didn't have to worry about letting Ethan down. After old Madam Hunt left, Cyrus said impatiently, Old witch, you only know how to be biased. You want to get back your shares. Dream on. Annoyed, he opened his phone and glanced at it. He kept sending messages on WeChat. Now, it wasn't just a question of whether he wanted to return the shares or not. He also needed to get back what he had invested. Ever since he got the shares, he had used them to start doing business in an attempt to reap huge benefits. However, the truth was that the investment market was not easy to play around with. There were risks to investing. Now, his 10% shares were all thrown into the market without earning him any money. He had borrowed a lot of money to recoup his losses. But the more he borrowed, the more he lost. Even if he wanted to return the shares to old Madam Hunt, he had nothing to return. He put the call through to the investor. Will these shares of mine really be returned to me in three days? If you do it my way, they'll definitely come back. And they'll come back twice as fast. The voice on the other end of the line was very confident. Cyrus snorted. As long as I get my things back, I won't think about doubling them. You have to make sure that my shares can be returned. Definitely. The man on the other end was very solemn. There was no hesitation. Cyrus was slightly relieved. He had even kept this from his parents and sister. Anyway, the shares would be back in two days. It wouldn't affect the shareholders meeting. There was no need to worry too much. After a while, Peter called. Cyrus, your shares are ready, right? When the time comes, we'll have more shares than Ethan. With the support of those shareholders, our authority will be higher than Ethan's, and we can remove him from his position. Dad, don't worry. Everything is ready, Cyrus said. Peter nodded in satisfaction. All right, conserve your energy for the next few days. Get ready. Edwin put away his phone and said to Ethan, Mr. Hunt, everything on Cyrus's side is in the plan. Follow the plan. Ethan rubbed his eyebrows. Ever since Peter returned, he had never let his guard down around the father and son. Now, it was finally time for a head-on confrontation. Chapter 1272. The shareholders' meeting was about to take place. Old Madam Hunt was still waiting for Cyrus to return the shares. In fact, Cyrus did not even pick up the phone. This made old Madam Hunt anxious. However, old Master Hunt, Patricia, and the others were also very anxious at this moment, so no one suspected anything. Peter woke up early in the morning. He was wearing a custom-made suit and stood in front of the mirror, looking exceptionally energetic. As Simona helped him tie his bow tie, she said, Hubby, tomorrow will definitely be fine. We're all ready. You've been in the industry for so many years. It won't be a problem. Peter held her hand. It's been hard on you to follow me all these years. But after this, I'll definitely give you everything I promised you. Actually, these aren't what I want the most. What I want the most is to be with you until my hair turns white. With you around, I really don't want anything else, Simona said gently. I never chose to be with you for wealth or fame. I chose you because of you. Peter was very touched. Even if you don't want those things, it's my duty to give them to you. Simona was even gentler than before. 
Hubby, actually, it hasn't been easy for Patricia and Ethan all these years. When you become the person in charge, give Ethan a chance. After all, he's your son. All these years, I've indeed let them down. Peter sighed and said, you're really too kind. The mother and son hate you so much. Previously, Patricia even embarrassed you in public and made Cyrus's movie unable to be released. She even slandered you in the media, but you keep speaking up for them. You'll suffer for your kindness. Sigh, it's a blessing to suffer losses. Besides, Patricia was my good friend back then. If it weren't because I was unable to control my feelings for you and if I hadn't gotten to know you better than she did or let her down, we wouldn't have ended up like this. Just promise me that you'll at least treat them well in the future, okay? Peter was really touched by her. It had been so many years, but Simona was still so kind and generous. She never thought about herself and always thought about others. How could Peter not be infatuated with such a woman? He nodded. I'll naturally agree to your requests. It's just that that unfilial son didn't learn well and actually fooled around with men. When the time comes, I'll definitely teach him well. I must straighten him up. Of course. Only a strict father like you can educate sensible children. Educating him is also for his own good. Simona smiled, but she knew that when the time came, there would be many conflicts between the pair of father and son. She just had to sit back and watch. Anyway, none of this fire could reach her. Pamela had been buying things very freely these past few days. Before this, she was already especially generous with her spending. Recently, she didn't even take money seriously. The entire Hunt family was rich and powerful, so it was no problem for them to satisfy her expenses. Moreover, she earned a lot of money herself and had the support of Western Consortium. After shopping at the mall, she spent eight figures in one go. Still not satisfied, she said to the driver, let's go see some villas. By the way, Gracie, do you have any good recommendations for villas? Chapter 1273 Gracie smiled and said, Sister Pamela, if you want to buy a villa, let me introduce you to a good place. Recently, the villa area in the city center is open for purchase. That location is the best in the entire Averna. It's quiet in the midst of all the hubbub, and the environment is very good. The geographical location is also especially superior. Although it's in the city center, it's completely quiet as if it's in a forest. Moreover, there are mountains, flowers, and trees. And the price is very affordable. A single villa only costs 300 to 500 million yuan. With your background, it's not a problem to buy a few villas. Pamela was indeed very tempted. She had been developing her career in Mandarin previously and had not done much in Averna. Since she was going to live in the capital in the future, she naturally had to buy a few more houses. Moreover, her father was about to become the head of Hunt Group. The place where they lived naturally had to match her father's status. Let's go there. Pamela was tempted. Gracie said, all right. There's no need to provide an address. Just go straight to the city center. If you live in that location, it's as though you're the queen looking down at all her subjects. Pamela was very satisfied with this statement. Thank you for your blessings. Speaking of which, my father actually has an interest in this place. However, although the location is good, there aren't many houses available for purchase. After all, only a few houses were built. You have to find connections to buy houses there. With my family's wealth, we have no hopes of buying a house there. Therefore, I think only you can buy houses in that area. A trace of arrogance appeared on Pamela's face. Gracie was right. When her father became the head of Hunt Group, only her family was qualified to buy the houses in that area. She and Gracie soon arrived at the place. When the reception staff saw them appear, they quickly recognized them. They were very enthusiastic and came up to greet them. Tea, coffee, and fruits were quickly served. The staff member drove a special tram and accompanied them to look at the houses and explained everything in detail. Pamela had seen enough and called Simona. When Simona heard that such a good place existed, she smiled. There's such a good house. That's right. Dad will be in charge of the company soon, so we definitely can't live casually in the future. 
We have to live in a house that matches dad's identity, so I want to give him a better one. At the same time, we have to pay more attention to our privacy and taste. Otherwise, it'll be embarrassing for the head of Hunt Group. Simona smiled happily. Pamela's words made sense. She said, then look around more. If possible, buy a few more houses. You and your brother can each have one. Even if you don't stay there in the future, it's good to keep them. Yes, then I'll confirm it as soon as possible. Pamela put down the phone and asked for the price. The staff member said awkwardly, actually, our villas aren't for sale. Why did you show me around if you're not selling them? Just tell me the price. If it's suitable, I'll buy four villas, Pamela said. This generosity frightened the staff member, and they quickly went to ask their manager. Gracie gasped. Sister Pamela, are you really going to buy so many? Although this money is nothing to you, it's too much. Since I like it, then I'll buy it. If I can afford it, then I'll buy it. Is there a problem? Pamela asked. No problem, no problem at all. Even a rich young lady like Gracie was also shocked by Pamela's spending. Chapter 1274. The manager came out quickly. Pamela said, can I get four villas? I'll pay the deposit now. Miss Hunt, actually, our villas are reserved for internal orders. However, I just asked the boss and he knows that you want them, so he agreed. However, these four villas have to be paid in cash. Gracie said, are you worried that Miss Hunt can't afford it? That's not what I meant. Four villas cost a total of three billion yuan. Although it's nothing to Miss Hunt, to come up with such a large sum, you'd need to go through the bank. Hence, it's no longer a simple matter. That's why I reminded you. Three billion. Pamela indeed did not have that much money. She usually spent a lot of money, but Simona spent even more than she did. Even if Peter still had a company of his own and they could earn money themselves, they did not have much money left. Besides, she had already spent a lot recently. However, she wasn't worried at all. It's fine, she said. How about this? After tomorrow, I'll have the money sent over. For now, I'll give a deposit. All right, Miss Hunt. Gracie was really envious that Pamela had settled such a big deal so easily. Even though her status was not low, she had never been so bold with her purchases. It turned out that it felt so good to stand above others. However, when she thought about how she could still live here with Cyrus in the future, Gracie felt all right again. She would have a share of everything that Hunt Group had in the future, so there was no need to be too envious of Pamela. After Pamela finished shopping, she returned to her villa and distributed the gifts she had brought to the nanny, security guards, and driver. Thank you, miss. Thank you, miss. Eldest miss is such a good person. She'll definitely be even richer in the future. That's right. I heard that Master is about to become the head of Hunt Group. In the future, we have to work harder in the Hunt family. We'll definitely get more opportunities. Oh, how fortunate. In the future, our young master will also be the head of Hunt Group. Most of these words were meant to compliment Pamela. She carried a luxurious bag and returned to her room. Her agent called her. Pamela, a lot of directors have been offering you scripts lately. I took a look and they're all pretty good. Would you like to see them? Leave them there for now. Pamela casually put on skincare products while looking in the mirror. She put her phone aside. I'm not in a hurry to make money from this career. I'm just afraid that Kinsey and the others will intercept if we're too late. Ha ha, Kinsey is only fit to earn this kind of money. Why should I fight with her? The agent smiled. That's true. I heard that your father is about to become the head of Hunt Group. This kind of hard money is indeed not worth mentioning to you. In that case, I'll try my best to arrange some easy work for you in the future. A rich young lady doesn't have to work like a maidservant. All right. I've bought you a set of skincare products. I'll bring them to you the next time we meet. Pamela hung up. There were countless calls and WeChat messages on her phone. Recently, there were more and more people who wanted to get close to her. Chapter 1275. Pamela smiled. Finally, this day has come. This is what I should have enjoyed when I was born. It's not too late for me to get everything that even Ronald can enjoy. 
Her lips curved as she toyed with the diamond ring on her finger and stared at her gorgeous face in the mirror. It wasn't too late. Comma. Hunt Group. The shareholders' meeting was officially held. All the shareholders were present. They sat in their seats and chatted softly. Everyone was really uncertain about the situation today. Logically speaking, Peter was Ethan's father, so it seemed logical for him to manage Hunt Group. However, everyone had been with Ethan for more than 10 years and had long believed in his various abilities. Peter's interference made them a little worried. However, in the end, this was the Hunt family's matter. Even if everyone had all kinds of thoughts, they could only suppress them in their hearts for the time being. When Ethan appeared, the discussion suddenly quieted down. His expression was calm, and there was nothing odd about him. His tall figure was wrapped in fitting clothes. He strode forward and sat down at the head of the table. The people following him were Patricia and Ronald. Old Master Hunt and Old Madam Hunt had not participated in the company's affairs for many years, and they did not appear today as well. Outside the door, Peter appeared at the right time. Even though he was in his fifties, he had taken good care of himself and still looked young. His refined temperament had the unique charm of a middle-aged and mature man. On his arm was Simona's hand. As the movie queen of the past, Simona's appearance was still very good. She carried her luxurious branded bag and walked over in high heels. Pamela and Cyrus followed behind them. When the staff in the lobby saw them appear, they couldn't help but stop and stare. Simona was quite proud of all of this. Although it was not often that someone dared to mention the identity of a mistress in front of her, it was indeed a stone that weighed on her heart, making it difficult for her to rest and breathe all day. She was clearly the one who was loved. Just because Patricia appeared first and got to know Peter first, she had to continue carrying this reputation. How could she be willing? After today, Peter would be in charge, and she would become Mrs. Hunt. History was written by the victors. Who would remember that Patricia was the real Mrs. Hunt? As she walked over, she frequently glanced at the people around her. In the future, these people would all be under her control. Naturally, she had to have a good reputation for being amiable. The four of them entered the elevator. The staff in the lobby couldn't help but whisper, is that Mr. Hunt's father, CEO Hunt. I didn't expect him to be so handsome at such an old age. The children born to CEO Hunt are also quite good looking. I wonder if they're here to compete with Mr. Hunt for the family assets. Come on, who can compete with Mr. Hunt? I still think highly of Mr. Hunt. After all, in terms of handsomeness, Mr. Hunt can still beat them. That's true. But I wonder who will win. It's really hard to feel at ease. You should be concerned about whether you'll be able to pay off your mortgage this month. Do you think you can worry about the higher-ups now? I can't even talk about it. Chapter 1276 Peter and Simona appeared together. When they stepped into the conference room, Patricia looked over. Initially, she thought that her heart was as still as water. However, this look once again evoked all her feelings. The sincerity she had given in the past had been trampled to pieces. She thought that she had forgotten this heartbreaking feeling. Now, it was vividly evoked again. She remembered the heartache she had felt when she took her son and waited day and night for her husband to change his mind. Even though she had long ago given up hope for this man, how could she easily forget the pain she had gone through? Simona also saw Patricia at a glance. It was different from what she had imagined. Patricia was not as haggard as she thought. She had a graceful and noble aura on her body, revealing her calmness. It was the kind of calmness that came from living in a wealthy family. Compared to Patricia, she felt uneasy. She straightened her neck slightly and adjusted her smile to its best state. So what if she was uneasy now? When the meeting started, she would be the official Mrs. Hunt. She would be the elegant one. She smiled at Patricia. Patricia pinched her palm gently. If this woman hadn't been her best friend and if she hadn't treated her so well back then, she might have felt better. However, it just so happened that not only did she help this woman a lot, but the person who had hurt her the most in her life was also the person she trusted the most. Kinsey didn't go to the scene. Instead, Ronald was responsible for reporting the scene to her. 
Ronald took a video and said, look, Simona is so smug. Those who don't know might think that she's the real wife. I wonder where she got her shamelessness from. How long can she be smug? Kinsey said. I'm afraid she's going to leave in disappointment today. Sigh, let me tell you. The phrase, fire, thieves, and best friends is really the essence. Simona was my mother's best friend in the past. My mother even spent money to support her career. My mother contributed greatly to her getting the Best Actress Award. However, in the end, she snatched my father away and left the three of us behind. If my gaze were a knife, I'd have stabbed a hundred holes in the two of them. Ronald still addressed Patricia as his mother. They had a deep relationship. Look, she still has the cheek to smile at us innocently. Ronald pointed the camera at Simona and showed it to Kinsey. Kinsey glanced at the four people who were satisfied. It seemed that they had indeed come prepared. Seeing Ronald recording her, Simona wasn't angry. Instead, she gave him a magnanimous smile. Ronald rolled his eyes at her. This was the first time Peter had seen his biological son, Ethan, with his own eyes. Of course, he had seen Ethan when he was young, but he had long forgotten him. He had only seen Ethan's appearance in photos. The son in front of him was taller than he had imagined. His facial features were far more handsome than Cyrus's. This made Peter feel a trace of guilt and love. Although his heart was already with Simona, Ethan was still his biological son, after all. He was no exception to that sentiment. Ethan, Peter called emotionally. Chapter 1277. Ethan looked back at him indifferently. It was the kind of indifference that said, who are you and why should I care about you? It was mixed with a little disdain and disgust. This glance immediately reminded Peter of the way Ethan had looked at him when he was young. His heart turned cold. He thought to himself, I was really led astray by Patricia. I shouldn't have had any hope for him. His feelings of love for his son evaporated. Peter and the others sat down. Then, there was a discussion about special matters. The atmosphere seemed harmonious, but in fact, there was tension in the air. The tension was palpable. Kinsey could feel the tension through the screen. Ethan was obviously confident about this shareholders meeting. But even if he was prepared, how could Kinsey not be worried? She stared at the screen without blinking. Ronald wanted her to see the full view, so the camera was always on Peter. Kinsey typed, Mr. Ronald, can you aim the camera at Ethan? I'm not in the mood to look at others. Okay, okay, okay. I really can't stand you. Ronald aimed the camera at Ethan and fixed it. As if knowing what Ronald was doing, when the camera was pointed at Ethan, he smiled at the camera. Kinsey's heart melted. Why did he have to be so handsome? Peter was talking about serious matters. Seeing Ethan suddenly smile, he couldn't help but smile as well. I was right. What kind of big responsibility can he take? Actually, he knew how much Ethan had done over the years. But he'd never believed in that and stubbornly stuck to his guns. In addition, later on, Simona goaded Ethan to assign some important positions to a few old shareholders. Hence, Peter believed in his own point of view even more. He ignored everything the others said. At this critical moment, Ethan was still smiling. How could he have such a son? Ethan, since we've already come to this, I won't beat about the bush. Let's get straight to the point. Since all the shareholders are here today, let's re-elect the person in charge again, Peter said. As soon as he said this, although everyone had a premonition, they could not help but be shocked and start discussing. Peter stood up. I'm of the Hunt family bloodline and also Ethan's father. I'm qualified to compete with him, right? No one objected. Of course. Hunt Group was founded by the Hunt family back then. Everyone in the Hunt family has such qualifications. However, the majority still stood on Ethan's side. However, Mr. Hunt has worked hard for Hunt Group for so many years. His ability is obvious to all. It's not good to replace him, right? Peter smiled. It's not that simple. Hunt Group has a rule that the person in charge not only needs everyone's support but it also has to be the person with the most shares in hand. I won't say much. Now, I already have 52% of the shares. Ethan, I want to ask you, how many do you have? Ah, 52%, someone exclaimed. 
That's indeed enough. I remember that old master hunts and his family's shares combined only make up 51 percent. Chapter 1278. Indeed, 52 percent of the shares means that CEO Hunt has enough authority. But why do I remember that Mr. Hunt has always held the most shares? Cyrus sat at the side and did not speak. The 52 percent that Peter had mentioned naturally included the 10 percent he had. However, he had already lost the 10 percent shares. The investor had said that he would earn them back for him, but he had not earned them back until now. He had even caused him to be in debt. At this moment, it was not convenient for him to speak. He could only quickly type and communicate with the investor. When will my shares be back? Mr. Hunt, are you in a hurry to use them? They can't come back now. Don't be anxious. I heard about what happened to your Hunt family. Even without your 10%, it doesn't matter, right? After all, Ethan doesn't have the other 10%, and he only has 41%. Even if you lose this 10%, you can still win, right? Neither Peter nor Ethan had the 10% shares. It was still 42% against 41%. They indeed had a winning chance. Although Cyrus knew that this was extremely risky, he had no choice but to take things one step at a time. A shareholder said loudly, that can't be right. Mr. Hunt has 51% while you guys, at most, will only have 49%. How could you guys have 52%? Peter smiled and said, I bought a lot from some old friends. They're here today to express their support for me. At his words, many of the older shareholders raised their hands, indicating that they were now on Peter's side. Everyone was surprised. These old shareholders had just been put in important positions by Ethan, but they had already sided with Peter. It was really surprising. They didn't know what magic Peter had. Or was it that Ethan really couldn't hold on anymore? But even so, it can't be 52%, right? Where did the extra shares come from? Ronald couldn't help but shout. Kinsey looked at the video and couldn't help but feel worried. Peter and his son had used all kinds of methods during this period of time. Ethan was in the light while they were in the dark. It was really impossible to guard against them. Everything in front of her worried her. She unscrewed a bottle of coke and took two gulps. The shareholders were whispering to each other. Ronald's question also attracted everyone's attention. That's right. Even so, it's impossible for you to have gotten 52%. CEO Hunt, do you have any explanation? Some shareholders who supported Ethan asked directly. Ethan didn't say anything. Among the shareholders present, the younger ones generally supported Ethan. He was tough and could keep up with the trends. He handled all kinds of things with ease and had long surpassed his seniors. Whether it was his horizons or his ability to act, he was a good role model. However, some old shareholders who were old-fashioned couldn't stand Ethan's actions, especially those who had a lot of opinions about Ethan. The incident with Frank last time had also become their trigger. Immediately, an old shareholder stood up and said, since CEO Hunt can take out 52% of the shares, the matter is very clear. This means that there are people in the Hunt family who are using their shares to support CEO Hunt's career. The people in the Hunt family are all supporting CEO Hunt, so it can be seen how popular he is, right? Chapter 1279. The old shareholders nodded. As a member of the Hunt family, CEO Hunt used to be the backbone of Hunt Group. It's only natural for the people in the Hunt family to support him to become the leader. That's right, I agree with that. After all, CEO Hunt is Mr. Hunt's father. He was overseas previously, but now that he's back in the country and in his prime, there's no reason for his son to be in power. Peter reached out to stop them and said, Ethan, I have 52% of the shares in my hands now. Actually, 10% was given to me by your grandmother. As for you, without grandma's 10%, you should only have 41%, right? Even if the other shareholders all support you, you can't be holding more shares than me. Therefore, leave Hunt Group to me. Everyone heard that it was indeed someone from the Hunt family who had made a choice and given the shares to Peter. In that case, what was the point of everyone still fighting for it when even their family had made a choice? The younger shareholders couldn't help but sigh. They knew better than outsiders how serious the loss of Ethan would mean for the group. 
At the thought of this, many people's eyes revealed reluctance and sadness. The old shareholders were all very excited. It seemed that Ethan was indeed not Peter's match. They said, the important positions in the company have always been occupied by the capable. Only the capable can give us the best results and make the entire company better. Therefore, CEO Hunt's election this time is what everyone wants. Ethan's expression remained unchanged as he sat calmly in his seat. On the other hand, Ronald asked on his behalf, you said that you have 52% of the shares. Take them out and let's take a look at them. If I say I hold 100% of the shares, should you nominate me as the leader, then? Peter was not so patient with Ronald. His face darkened as he said, Cyrus, take out the report and show it to them. Cyrus sorted out the report and felt very depressed. His fingers felt as if they weighed a thousand kilograms. What are you waiting for, son? Quickly get it done. Simona nudged him. Cyrus had no choice but to step forward and raise the report high. We do have 52% of the shares, and 10% of it was given to us by my grandmother. However, the 10% my grandmother gave us is still under a mortgage and can't be taken out. Therefore, we only have 42% now. Peter was shocked. Why are you only saying this now? Simona and Pamela also exchanged a look. They had a bad feeling. Dad, I didn't mean to lie to you. It's just that the shares are a little delayed, so they haven't reached me yet, Cyrus said in a low voice. He turned to the crowd and raised his voice. Even if we only have 42%, compared to the total 41% owned by Ethan and his family, we still have more. Therefore, regardless of whether we have the 10% or not, we're currently the shareholders with the highest authority. Everyone, I believe that you have no objections to my father replacing Ethan as the leader, right? Chapter 1280. Everyone was stunned. They did not expect that the 10% shares given by old Madam Hunt had not been transferred yet. However, Cyrus was right. Since they had more shares than Ethan, they indeed had the right to change the leader. The old shareholders nodded. Indeed. No one should have any objections to everything now. When Peter thought of this, his expression relaxed. Simona and Pamela also heaved a sigh of relief. Fortunately, although there were twists and turns, they did not fail. The end result was still good. Then, everyone, let's congratulate CEO Hunt for becoming the new leader of Hunt Group. An old shareholder extended his hand and made a gesture to welcome Peter to take over. At this moment, Ethan was helpless. Everyone had already decided that this was the outcome. Some people sighed while some laughed. Kinsey crushed the Coke bottle. Although she knew that Ethan must have a solution, she couldn't help but want to smash their heads. Peter stood up, adjusted his clothes, and gestured to everyone. He was in high spirits. This position should have been his many years ago. After more than 20 years, he was finally back. Simona and Pamela were also overjoyed. They looked at Peter happily and smiled sweetly. Cyrus heaved a long sigh of relief. Although he was indeed not cautious enough, it was not a big deal. This position belonged to his father now. Sooner or later, this position would also be his. Ethan would eventually be excluded from the entire hunt group. Peter walked toward Ethan. Hold it, Ethan, who had been silent, suddenly said. His voice was not loud, but it was very clear. It easily attracted everyone's attention. Peter stopped in his tracks. Because he was already the winner, he was especially relaxed and more tolerant of Ethan. He smiled and said, Ethan, so what if you lose to your father? Work hard in the future. As long as you're sensible, I won't make things difficult for you. How shameless. Ronald and Kinsey typed at the same time. Ethan said calmly, Mr. Hunt, aren't you going to ask me how many shares I have? His name was Peter, but he was neither his father nor CEO Hunt. Clearly, Ethan did not treat him as a member of the Hunt family or Hunt group. How distant. Because Peter looked down on Ethan and didn't think that he had any ability, he underestimated Ethan. He smiled and said, then how much do you have? Show me. Edwin immediately took out a stack of documents and placed it in front of everyone. He said, Mr. Hunt, if you want to be the person in charge, I'm afraid you're still lacking in shares. 
Mr. Hunt has 51% of Hunt Group's shares. Impossible, Peter said immediately. The shares of the entire Hunt family will only be 51% when combined with yours, but your grandmother has already given 10% to me and Cyrus. Even if you gather more, you won't be able to gather enough. Everyone was also surprised, but what Edwin took out clearly stated that Ethan indeed had 51% of the shares. He had far more than Peter. What the hell was going on? Chapter 1281. Cyrus did not believe it either. Grandma gave her shares to me. It can't be wrong. I received them personally. Ethan still sat steadily and said calmly, Are you sure you were able to keep what Grandma gave you? Mr. Hunt Cyrus, the market is risky. Please be careful when investing. Cyrus's face turned pale. You, you, you cheated me of 10% of my shares. Edwin replied unhurriedly, Mr. Hunt Cyrus, please have some self-respect. How can you say that we cheated you when it comes to investments? If you want to blame someone, you can only blame yourself for not being capable enough and being inferior to others. You lost all the shares to our Mr. Hunt. Hearing this, Peter's face turned pale, and his hands trembled. His footsteps, which were originally walking toward Ethan, became as heavy as lead. Oh no. It was all over. The 51% that Ethan had was given to him by old Master Hunt and Patricia. They all hated Peter. No one would be as soft-hearted as old Madam Hunt and be deceived by a few words of flattery. In other words, Ethan's current shares were impregnable. No one could shake them. Most of the shareholders supported Ethan. Seeing that the situation had changed, they all looked excited. One of them led the applause. The applause of the others followed closely. Edwin and Ronald also clapped until their hands turned red. The old shareholders looked at each other with flushed faces. It was as if those slaps had all landed on their faces. Peter turned around and slapped Cyrus. He felt deeply embarrassed. After planning for so long and even holding the various shares that Nick had secretly bought from the secondary market, he still suffered a crushing defeat. Peter felt embarrassed and turned to leave. Cyrus hurriedly followed. Simona and Pamela were no longer as energetic as before. Although the mother and daughter wanted to maintain their composure and walk out arrogantly, they still almost tripped over their high heels at the door. Those old shareholders who had sided with Peter could neither leave nor stay. Especially when they thought of how Ethan had given them important positions recently, they could not help but regret it. If they had followed Ethan, their futures would have been bright. Why did they have to be overwhelmed by anger and fantasize about helping Peter in order to improve their lives? In the end, it was all for nothing. Edwin smiled and said, do you want me to accompany you out? We wouldn't dare. The old shareholders immediately left in embarrassment. Kinsey, who had been watching the video, heaved a sigh of relief. Ethan had handled everything well. Her husband was so capable and handsome. To celebrate, she unscrewed another bottle of Coke. At this moment, Ethan took the phone from Ronald and whispered to her, Drink less, okay. She got caught, boo-hoo. Kinsey smiled awkwardly. I only took a small sip from that bottle just now. I was so angry that I squeezed the bottle and spilled the rest. Okay. Ethan returned the phone. Patricia glanced at her son and did not say anything, but her expression became much gentler. The other shareholders said happily, Mr. Hunt, no matter what happens, we'll follow your lead. Chapter 1282. Ronald said, of course. You can only enjoy wealth if you follow my brother. Ethan interrupted him and said, let's have a meeting. When Peter went out, he could not control himself and gave Cyrus another tight slap. Cyrus covered his face, his eyes red. He had nothing to say. This time, not only did he lose the 10% shares, but he even borrowed a lot of money as capital. He planned to get back what he had lost previously. Previously, the investor had always said that there was no problem at all. Now, it seemed that everything had been for naught. The most urgent problem he faced was the high interest loan he still had to repay. Simona hurriedly advised, Hubby, our son didn't do it on purpose. He was tricked by Ethan. Cyrus secretly gritted his teeth. He had originally wanted to rely on these 10% shares to earn more benefits and stabilize his father's position. Unexpectedly, he fell into Ethan's trap. 
No wonder that investor had been perfunctory in his responses to him. It seemed that the investor had long been bribed by Ethan. Peter looked up at the sky. I really underestimated that bastard. After his failure, he no longer had any father-son relationship with Ethan. He said insultingly, I should have expected it. When he was so young, he looked at me with evil intentions. I actually treated him like a little lamb. Simona was extremely disappointed, especially when she received Patricia's gaze when she left. That gaze was high and mighty, shattering her dignity. She hated it. She was so close to victory, but in the end, it was all for nothing. But now, with her husband and son in this situation, she had to brace herself to deal with it. Hubby, let's run our own company well first. If we can't do it the first time, there'll still be a next time. This time, we were just short of victory. There are still many opportunities in the future. Peter had no choice. Pamela remained silent. Many people in her WeChat group were asking how she was doing. Among the people of Western Consortium, her status was the most inconspicuous. However, if her father became the head of Hunt Corporation, she would not be afraid of anyone looking down on her. The news that she bought four villas as if they were nothing had already been sent to the family group chat, attracting many envious voices. Many people had already expressed their blessings in advance. Pamela also promised everyone that when the villas were renovated, she would invite everyone over. Now, her father had failed. She had to gather the credit cards that she had been fanatically swiping recently and give them back to her father. How could she afford to buy a house? Someone in the family kept tagging her. Pamela, how's the situation? When can we go to your new villa to play? Exactly. We're all looking forward to it. Also, can we visit Hunt Group in the future? I heard that the design of that building is very ingenious, but we haven't seen it with our own eyes, so we don't know how ingenious it is. Pamela, can you show us when the time comes? At Pamela, let's talk about business cooperation. With you as the channel, we can finally build a relationship with Hunt Group. I'll give you a discount. Name a price. At Pamela, if we do business together, everything can be discussed. Pamela pretended to be dead and did not reply. She took a deep breath. Chapter 1283. The manager who sold the villas to her also sent a WeChat message. Miss Hunt, this is the sales office of the villa district in the city center. Sorry to disturb you, but let me remind you that the villas you've booked will have to be paid for in three days. If you don't pay in time, we can't reserve the right to buy them for you, nor can we refund your deposit. Pamela didn't want to reply at all. She only wanted to do one thing kill Cyrus. Of course, it was just a thought. After the shareholders meeting, Ethan returned to his office. Patricia came out of the conference room and saw that all the employees were looking at her expectantly with relieved expressions. She couldn't help but feel a wave of relief. Even with so many people standing against her son, there were still so many people waiting eagerly for him to win. His dedication and ability had not been let down. She flashed a smile at the crowd before turning. The employees whispered, everything's fine, everything's fine. There's finally no unrest. Exactly. It was horrible. I was prepared to find another job. What are you afraid of? It's such a big corporation. Even if the boss of our boss changes, it doesn't matter, right? What do you know? If there really was a change, you'd cry to death. Anyway, I don't know how they make decisions and lead the company. I only know that with Mr. Hunt around, I can work in peace and don't have to worry about not getting a salary and bonus. I also know that as long as I'm capable, I can obtain the corresponding gains. My family and I can live carefree lives. I can't agree more. I agree very much. If it were another boss, they might not be able to do this. Otherwise, why do you think so many people want to sharpen their minds and come to our company? I was wrong, I was wrong. I apologize for what I just said. The big boss can't be changed. Your words have enlightened me. Comma. There was a knock on the door. Mom. Ethan opened the door. He had already packed his things and was about to leave. You're going back. Yes. Ethan nodded. Patricia followed him out. It's been hard on you today. Ethan shook his head. It's just my job. Patricia was very apologetic, but she felt pretentious when she said it. 
The person who should be sorry for this was clearly the irresponsible man. They walked in silence. Ethan was not a talkative person to begin with. Because of Kinsey, the relationship between him and Patricia was even more different than before. Although he was still respectful, he had obviously added a barrier between them. He would no longer be unguarded against his mother. Patricia knew that she had asked for it, so she couldn't blame anyone. She suddenly thought of something and said, what exactly is going on with that Frank? What do you mean? Ethan asked casually and pressed the elevator button. Previously, you were photographed with a guy named Frank. I believe you aren't such a frivolous person. How can you face Kinsey and the two children like this? Is it a rumor? Tell me and I'll settle it. It's true. There's no need to settle it. Patricia. She said earnestly, then does Kinsey know? Son, you're old now. There are some things that I shouldn't say, but you can't be an irresponsible man. Chapter 1284. Ethan replied casually. Patricia was really anxious. The only thing she had ever insisted on before was regarding Donna's matter. Now, she wanted to pursue this for Kinsey. When the elevator reached the underground parking lot, Ethan stepped out. Patricia strode out as well. She stood in front of Ethan and said, Ethan, since you've chosen to be with Kinsey, shouldn't you reflect on your actions for the sake of the two of you and the children? She knew that falling out with her son like this would only worsen their mother-son relationship. However, she had to say these words in her heart. She said anxiously, could it be that without me obstructing you and Kinsey, you treat this relationship as nothing and feel that it's meaningless? Not only do people have to seek excitement, but they also have to be responsible for the choices they make. A car stopped in front of the mother and son. Frank stuck his head out and shouted to Ethan, hubby. She turned back and met the driver's eyes. The man behind the wheel had delicate features and a sweet smile. Did he shout that? Kinsey greeted obediently, Mom. Patricia's lips twitched. As expected, she was getting on in years. She no longer understood the pleasures of youth. Kinsey opened the door and got out of the car. Ethan pulled her to his side and rubbed her hair. Kinsey said, I'm here to pick you up. I even made a lot of delicious dishes. I want to go too. Ronald rushed over from the elevator. He was used to seeing Kinsey in men's clothes. Only then did Patricia realize that an elder like her was probably the only one kept in the dark. Ethan smiled. Why are your ears so sharp? Thinking that she had even invited Ronald, Kinsey said politely, Mom, do you want to come too? Forget it. You young people can gather by yourselves. I still have something on. I'll visit you next time. She glanced at Ronald. Why are you joining in the fun? Come home with me for dinner. No, I'm going to Big Brother's house. Patricia smiled. Don't you think you're being a third wheel here? Ronald shook his head. How am I being a third wheel? I can help take care of my nephews. Then get in. Kinsey opened the door. As Kinsey drove, she was still thinking about what had happened today. She asked, will Cyrus and the others cause any more trouble after this? They need to have the ability to do it. This pair of father and son can't do anything, Ronald said. I was scared to death today, Kinsey said with a smile. They're really scary when they're aggressive. What's there to be afraid of? My brother had already planned everything. In fact, if it weren't for grandma being too soft-hearted and giving the shares to Cyrus, my brother wouldn't even need to spend these efforts. Sigh, sometimes, the people we should guard against are the people closest to us. Ronald sighed. Kinsey said, they still have more than 40% of the shares. It'll be very troublesome if they cause trouble, right? At least half of Peter's 40% shares were secretly bought by Nick from the secondary market. They don't belong to him at all, and he doesn't have the ability to buy them. He thinks highly of himself, but without Nick, he's nothing. Ronald was full of disdain when he mentioned Peter. Chapter 1285. Hearing Nick's name, Kinsey gripped the steering wheel tightly and didn't say anything else. Helplessness flashed across her delicate eyes. Ronald was still chattering, but she didn't respond. Her face flashed in the night as she drove away from the parking lot. In another car, Nick sat behind the wheel and watched her drive away. A layer of frost covered his body, separating him from the others. 
but the only person he wanted to approach on his own initiative was getting farther away. Kinsey's car disappeared into the night in the distance, blending into the inky darkness. She was never to be found again. Nick pulled out his phone, clicked on his conversation with Kinsey, and typed, sorry. However, after thinking about it for a moment, he deleted the word and exited the conversation. What happened between them could not be explained in a few words. That one word was also meaningless. The next day, when Kinsey was at home, she received a call from old Madam Hunt. Grandma, are you looking for me? Kinsey, can we meet? Old Madam Hunt's tone was pleading. Kinsey agreed. She chose a beverage shop downstairs and sent her the address. Ethan went to the company, and Kinsey knew that the person old Madam Hunt wanted to see wasn't her. However, she pretended not to know and didn't mention this to Ethan. Kinsey arrived first. She ordered something and waited for old Madam Hunt. After a while, old Madam Hunt appeared at the door. Her hair was white, and her back was straight. There were obvious wrinkles on her face. She looked a few years older than she looked a while ago. Please sit down, Grandma. Kinsey pulled out a chair for her. Old Madam Hunt thanked her and sat down. Where's Ethan? In the office. Kinsey sat down with her. Old Madam Hunt slowly ordered her drink and said, I've heard about what happened in the company. The situation was very dangerous at that time. It wasn't easy for Ethan to dodge the bullet. Kinsey smiled and corrected her. He didn't dodge the bullet. He was prepared for danger and difficulties. That's why he was able to fight head on and win. But it wasn't easy. After all, no one expected such a situation. Even now when I think about it, I still have a lingering fear. Old Madam Hunt could understand Kinsey's resentment. She was indeed wrong in this matter. If she had not been too soft-hearted and became biased toward Cyrus, these things could have been avoided. However, Kinsey retorted with a smile. Old Madam Hunt could not be angry. She said, Kinsey, how about this? Have dinner with me and Ethan tonight. I want to talk to him and apologize for my mistake. Kinsey stirred the coffee gently with a spoon. The strong aroma of the coffee entered her nose and was fragrant. Hearing old Madam Hunt's words, she slowly raised her head. I don't think we should do this, Grandma. Why? Old Madam Hunt felt very guilty toward Ethan. However, she also knew that Ethan was cold by nature and might not forgive her easily. Besides, if she was alone with him, she might not be able to say a lot of things. That was why she thought of looking for Kinsey to ease their relationship and apologize to Ethan. Chapter 1286 Kinsey put down the spoon and said seriously, although Ethan has resolved this matter, he had to put in a lot of effort to completely resolve it. Outsiders can't possibly imagine it. He respected you very much, especially since you had raised him and accompanied him growing up. He did not say a word about your mistake in this matter. You want to apologize because you want to gain his understanding. He'll certainly forgive you, but only you will feel better when he forgives you. Have you ever wondered how he will feel? Can you give him the time to move past this? Old Madam Hunt held her teacup and fell silent for a long time. Kinsey continued to stir her coffee with the spoon, which clinked against the cup. I was indeed wrong, Old Madam Hunt said in a low voice. However, she had also looked at the source of her mistake. Was it wrong to love her other child? She just didn't want the Hunt family's bloodline to grow further apart. Was that wrong? Kinsey, after you become an elder, you'll understand my painstaking efforts. Which elder will choose not to love their child? She murmured. Kinsey sighed softly. After a long time, she said, but loving those with questionable character is a mistake. The love you're giving isn't love but a murderous knife. Old Madam Hunt looked at her in shock. She stood up and said, I'll go now. Enjoy your tea. She turned around and left. Old Madam Hunt looked at her back and could not withdraw herself from her thoughts for a long time. Comma. When Kinsey went to King Ping Media Company, she found that the newer male artists were very fond of dressing up. Moreover, some managers seemed to be more inclined to sign male artists. For a moment, there were many new male artists. Hazel smiled helplessly and said, after seeing Mr. Hunt and Frank's photos, some people think that they would have such good luck too. 
When the time comes, they might even be fancied by a big shot. Even their managers are a little confused. Mr. Hunt only comes to King Ping Media Company once every few years. I wonder where they think they'll get their luck from. Kinsey also smiled. I know, right. Kinsey smiled and said, but the new artists are quite eye-catching. After all, they're all people who look like Frank. Of course, they're eye-catching. However, there's not a single one who's masculine. They're all cute little dogs. When the time comes, there'll be too many cute little dogs in the entire market. No, I have to take the opportunity to nurture one or two male artists as well. At that time, I'll definitely be able to gain a foothold. Hazel had already seen a business opportunity. Kinsey smiled as well. She was definitely not masculine. She successfully disguised herself as a man by getting her gaze right, but her overall physique was thin. It was not easy to be masculine. Hazel suddenly asked, by the way, don't you know Frank? Has he really left the industry or signed a contract with someone? I had a friend who's been a fan of his for a while. She keeps asking me for his information. It's been too long. I'm not sure anymore, Kinsey said perfunctorily. She did not want to escalate this matter. She would pretend not to know in case she made more mistakes. Hazel only asked casually. She didn't really want to ask about the situation. Seeing that Kinsey didn't know, she changed the topic and talked about work. Chapter 1287 Just as Kinsey was busy discussing an event with Hazel, Luna came over with her phone. As she walked, she said, Sister Hazel, do you know about this big news? I wonder if Hunt Group can survive it. What is it? Kinsey asked immediately. Seeing that she was interested, Luna directly handed the phone to her and said, someone released a big piece of news. They said that Mr. Hunt's mother, Patricia, killed her best friend and her husband in a car accident back then. Even the child wasn't spared. They made it sound so convincing and even gave us the simulation video from back then. Looking at this video, it seems to be true. If that's really the case, I wonder if we'll be affected. After all, we also rely on the headquarters for a living. Kinsey had already seen the video that Nick had given Patricia. This video was very realistic. Those who had watched it would easily be drawn into it and have a bad impression of Patricia. The comments below were already very rude. I really didn't expect rich people like them to have reached the point of forsaking lives. If this is true, she must be severely punished. What kind of fake friendship is that? You can't let people like that go just because they're rich. Patricia had previously cooperated with the investigation because of this matter. Some people also knew about the investigation back then. However, the impact of the incident back then was very small and did not attract widespread attention. However, those in the know also stepped out to expose the truth. Forget it, everyone. Don't think about it anymore. Do you think Patricia is an ordinary rich person? Don't forget that her son is Ethan, the leader of Hunt Group. He's a man who can affect the entire Asian economy. This matter was mentioned back then, but it was quickly dropped. It was Ethan who personally came to bail Patricia out. I advise you not to think too much about it and take care of yourself. These rich people are so disappointing. They're a disappointment to our country. How disappointing. But I can understand Ethan's actions. Can you watch your mother go to jail? It's easier said than done, right? What's wrong with that? I don't have a murderer mother. Not everyone has the heart to kill, okay. I still want to stand on Ethan's side. I can't hate such a person. I'm willing to be Ethan's dog for the rest of my life. Are you all fucking retarded? You won't realize what you're doing unless you're taught a lesson, huh? You people must be suffering from brain damage. Set aside your fangirling and go back. We have to punish the murderer severely. Severely punish the murderer. Kinsey could tell that this matter had really blown up. It was not something that could be resolved with a few words. The matter between Ethan and Frank last time was just a personal matter, and the choice was entirely up to the individual. This time, it was not so simple. This was already a serious matter of human lives. It was completely reasonable for everyone to react so violently. Kinsey's heart skipped a beat. She immediately went to check the share price of Hunt Group. As expected, it had fallen drastically after the news came out. 
Hunt Group's share price usually rose and fell. The range of rise and fall was very normal, but today, it was falling in a straight line. After all, such an incident would affect the shareholders' expectations of the entire group. Chapter 1288. Luna said, Kinsey, don't worry too much. Kingping Media Company has its own business, so it might not be affected by the share price of the head office. I think this matter will come to light eventually. Kinsey nodded. She guessed that Nick would never do such a thing. Regardless of his personality, he was a gentleman. Even if he wanted to take revenge on Patricia, he had never made this matter public before. He had only resolved it in private. Moreover, with his personality, he was probably unwilling to have his personal matters discussed and monitored in public. Hence, the person who might have released this video was Peter's family. Worried, she immediately called Ethan. He didn't answer. After a while, he texted back. In a meeting. Don't worry. It'll all work out. Kinsey felt a little more at ease now. Luna and Hazel were still discussing this matter when Hazel said, I've seen Patricia once. She looks very elegant and doesn't look like someone who would do such a thing. But Luna said, you can't judge a book by its cover. Who knows exactly what kind of person she is. Besides, the reason why rich people are rich is that they have some powerful means that ordinary people can't possibly imagine. Even so, Patricia had already married into the Hunt family back then and even given birth to Mr. Hunt. She had everything she wanted. Why would she attack her best friend's family? What was so dangerous about this best friend of hers? Hazel said. This was also a question that Kinsey had never figured out. Luna said, that's true. But who knows what went on behind the scenes. It's better for the police to investigate the matter in order to seek justice for the victims. But the best friend's family is really too pitiful. Sigh, this cold case was even mentioned in a legal show in the past. I didn't expect there to be such progress now. Kinsey spoke to Hazel for a while more before turning to leave. The internet was a buzz. Many people tagged the police and asked them to give them justice and deal with the matter seriously. Actually, the police had already investigated this matter. Patricia had also cooperated and stayed with them for a long time. Unfortunately, there was no direct evidence to prove that Patricia had done it. Now, the police were also under a lot of pressure. The netizens were getting agitated and were forcing them to give an explanation. However, even if they released a statement out now, no one would believe them, right? Helpless, they could only ask Ethan for help. Ethan said, tell the truth. We'll give an explanation. Please announce the results of the previous investigation. Putting down the phone, Ethan frowned. Ronald said, fortunately, we've already cooperated with the investigation. Can you shut these people up now? Ethan looked up at him. No, the outcome will only be worse. Why? Right now, people don't believe us at all. Even if the police give a statement, they'll just think it's fake and that we bribed our contacts. When the crowd is riled, everyone wants to believe only what they believe. Ah, then we'll be adding fuel to the fire. Ronald was stunned. Ethan understood that even if he was adding fuel to the fire, he could only do so. He had to give an explanation, or his credibility would be questioned. Chapter 1289. His mother's grievances would eventually be washed away. That day wouldn't be too far away. They just had to wait for the right time. Now, the bigger the fuss, the better. When the time came, the person who would have a hard time ending it would be the real murderer, not himself or the entire Hunt group. Ronald quickly took out his phone. Sure enough, although Hunt group and the police had made a statement that they had investigated this matter long ago, there was no clear evidence that could clear Patricia's name. They said that Patricia had killed her best friend's family, which was why this matter was suppressed. Everyone got even angrier. They did not believe the statements at all. See, what did I say? Money makes the world go round. Ethan made arrangements long ago. It's impossible for his mother to be in jail. The law is to protect the rich and powerful. I'm so disappointed. I've followed this cold case before. All those years ago, I kept wondering why there was no clear explanation for a simple case of a car crash. Why couldn't we find clues or the killer? Now, I understand. It wasn't that we couldn't find the person. 
It was just that the killer's background was so strong that no one dared to investigate. Anyway, I've seen through it. I'm disappointed. An entire family was wiped out. I really can't accept this disappointing world. Sigh, I've finally seen through Hunt Group. They actually faked such a thing. If they can fake it, what else can't they fake? We can only disperse. What else can we do? Why should we? How can they do that? That poor family suffered at their hands and no one spoke up for them. What if something like that happens to us tomorrow? Who will speak up for us then? Should the rich and powerful enjoy privileges like this? Yes, we must punish the murderer severely. Hunt Group must give an explanation. I won't give up until this is over. The people on the internet were very righteous. There had to be an outcome. However, they refused to believe the outcome they were shown. These comments made Ronald furious. Then what do you want? What do you know? Oh, if it doesn't match your imagination, it must not be the truth, right? He scrolled for a while and saw that Simona had actually appeared at this moment. Simona directly posted on Weibo, saying that he was also very good friends with the deceased. Back then, she had always been very regretful that she did not find the murderer. She hoped that this time, with this case being so important to everyone, they would find the murderer as soon as possible so that justice could be given to her good friend. As a public figure, her speech happened to be in line with the public's emotions this time. Hence, it gave everyone a good impression of her. The comments below supported her. You're so kind and beautiful. You deserve to be famous. I was a little unhappy with you in the past. I was really blind. It turns out you're a person with a heart of justice. I apologize. I'll always support you in the future. Come on, let's get justice for the dead together. Protect yourself. Justice will come eventually. So she was your friend. I hope you can fight with us to the end. As Simona was the movie queen of the past, this topic quickly became a trending topic. Things started brewing again as the matter escalated to new heights. Chapter 1290. No wonder she became the movie queen back then. She really knows how to ride on trends. She even wants to ride on this hot topic. Ronald couldn't stand Simona's face. Brother, are you really not going to care about this woman? Ethan said, let her continue. Ronald was about to die of anger. His mother-son relationship with Patricia was not ruined by what had happened the last time. From the bottom of his heart, he still respected Patricia. Seeing her being slandered like this, he felt terrible. What exactly is your plan, big brother? I'm working on that too. All I can tell you is that this time, the truth will come out. Ronald was finally happy. Then I'll wait for your good news. By the way, I'll go back and accompany mom. She must be feeling terrible at this time. Go on. When Ethan returned home, Kinsey was also browsing the relevant news. When she saw him coming in, she put down her phone. Are you looking into this? She asked. Yes, we're getting somewhere. Kinsey said nervously, it has nothing to do with mom, right? I think one thing is right. At that time, mom's career and family life were going very smoothly. Even if she had some personal conflict with her best friend, she definitely wouldn't have resorted to such a despicable method to harm those people's lives. How much hatred must there have been for one to do such a thing? You're right. Continue with your train of thought. Actually, you can see issues in many things. However, everything depends on evidence. Otherwise, one won't be able to feel at ease or convince others. So, are you now at the stage of gathering evidence? Yes. Ethan reached out and stroked her hair. This stage is very important. I can't tell anyone for the time being, but I can tell you something. Kinsey nodded gently and immediately fell silent, leaning her ear close. Ethan was amused by her cute actions. Even when he was busy with work, she was like a ray of bright sunlight that shone onto him and added warmth and color to his life. Comma. Cyrus paid attention to the share price of Hunt Group. As he watched it fall bit by bit, he felt happy. Originally, Peter and Simona did not agree to release this video, but Cyrus insisted on doing it. He was anxious about losing and wanted to find a way to take revenge on Ethan. Hence, he secretly released the video. Peter and Simona could only let him be. It was just that the effect was even better than they'd expected. 
maybe the netizens were too righteous, or maybe some of them had a serious grudge against the rich. Perhaps there were other reasons too. Anyway, all the results were satisfactory. Even Peter did not expect public opinion to be so powerful. It was far stronger than when he was young. The shares of Hunt Group were falling day by day, and the company was unable to stop this momentum. When Nick called, Cyrus was feeling smug. Who told you to release the video? Nick's voice was so cold that it made people shiver even though it was just a call. The person who answered the phone was Peter. He was much more cautious than Cyrus. He said, I didn't educate my son well in this matter. But as you can see, the situation is very good. Hunt Group is suddenly forced to face a huge crisis. This is what you want to see, right? Next time, don't act on your own. Nick's words were so cold that Peter subconsciously tightened his grip on his phone. Chapter 1291. After hanging up, Peter said, don't do this in the future. Otherwise, I won't be able to protect you from Nick. Dad, you're really too timid. Ethan is no one special. He was defeated by a trivial matter. And how powerful can Nick be? The only reason they can be where they are today is because of their wealth. Where did their wealth come from? Isn't it from their families? What's so scary about them? Peter snorted. No matter what, we still have to rely on Nick to defeat Ethan. It's not a wise choice to be his enemy now. You need to wise up. Yes, I understand, Cyrus replied casually, but he disagreed with his father. The matter continued to be discussed, but everyone's lives had to continue forward. The news on Weibo would be replaced by other news, and the trending topics would be occupied by the next trending topic. Hence, the popularity of this matter died down. Only a small number of people were still fighting to the end for truth and justice. They often posted in various places, hoping to attract everyone's attention and have them fight with them to the end. Using this momentum, Peter and Cyrus established a new company, Cyrus Corporation. They decided that since they could not get everything back from Hunt Group, they would use their current capital to establish a new company. The business they did and the company services they provided were similar to Hunt Group. Coupled with their identities as members of the Hunt family, they would definitely be able to compete with Hunt Group on the market. Peter and Cyrus also looked for the old shareholders. After discussing for a long time, they felt that this plan was feasible. To Peter and his son, they had the upper hand. But was that really the case? Underestimating the opponent always brought about immeasurable disasters. The establishment of Cyrus Corporation was a very important matter. Peter and Simona both wanted to take this opportunity to announce to the world that they were of the Hunt family bloodline, so the founding ceremony was held according to the highest standards. They had booked the best hall in a hotel downtown and invited as many people as they could. They were determined to compete with Hunt Group. Although it's a little ridiculous, their courage is commendable, Ronald said when he saw the news. Do they really think that Hunt Group is just a small company? Do they really think that overseas resources and those difficult things are easy to handle? Ethan narrowed his eyes and didn't comment. Ronald continued, I want to see how Peter will return in defeat. Also, is that pair of father and son worthy of Nick's help? He did it for himself, Ethan said calmly. All the more reason for him not to associate himself with pigs and dogs. Isn't he lowering his status for no reason? Ethan didn't say anything else. He had no comment about his father. The founding ceremony of Cyrus Corporation was about to begin. For the grand ceremony that day, Peter sent out invitations everywhere. Even Kinsey received one. Luna asked curiously, why would Peter send it to you? You don't have a good relationship with Simona and Pamela. In a sense, you're enemies. Is he crazy? Chapter 1292. Hazel smiled and said, you didn't expect this, did you? It's precisely because Simona doesn't get along with Kinsey that she sent an invitation to her. She wants Kinsey to see her in her prime with her own eyes so that Simona can attack her enemy. Luna suddenly understood. Her heart is really full of schemes. That's true as well. After all, a victory without an enemy to witness it can't be considered a true victory. Kinsey, are you going? Sure. Why not? Kinsey smiled. If she dares to invite me, I'll go. As long as the company has no objections, I'll go. 
Hazel nodded. The company has no objections. Go ahead. I heard that there'll be many investors and partners present. There's no reason for us to waste the opportunity of future collaborations, right? Luna said, in that case, do we have to thank Simona? Hazel and Kinsey smiled. On the day of the establishment of Cyrus Corporation, Kinsey was already done dressing up and was about to appear at the scene. Knowing what would happen at the scene today, even if Simona hadn't invited Kinsey, Kinsey would have found an opportunity to show up. Hazel asked Luna to follow Kinsey closely. She had to protect Kinsey well. She made it seem like Kinsey was going to a tiger's den. Sure enough, when they arrived at the banquet venue, the entire place was already filled with people. The bodyguards were in uniform, keeping order in the crowd. Luna looked around and quickly saw some familiar faces in the entertainment industry. She said, Simona and Pamela are really generous. They even invited so many people from the entertainment industry. Kinsey, look, isn't that the top female singer of the year? And that person, although she has left the industry, she has always been very popular. Kinsey looked in the direction she was pointing. Simona and Pamela were entertaining those people. The mother and daughter smiled warmly. Gracie and Ashley stood at the side and helped to greet the guests. Gracie treated herself as half a hostess. Ashley also looked happy. She straightened her shoulders and smiled appropriately. When she saw Kinsey, Ashley looked over. Her smile became two or three times more mocking. Ashley, your sister is here, Gracie said. Ashley smiled and said, that's right. How can she reject attending such an occasion? Besides, it's lively today. Since she's willing to come, let her come. Gracie asked, I recall you saying that she has a boyfriend. Ashley could not hide her happiness and said, that's right. I heard that they're getting married. However, I'm afraid they won't be able to get married now. What's going on? Gracie was also very curious. Is it because Kinsey doesn't dare to get married? In her current situation, if she really gets married, she'll indeed be scolded to death by her fans. No, it has nothing to do with her fans. In my opinion, as long as the man agrees to get married, Kinsey will agree without hesitation. Gracie was even more curious. Then why didn't Kinsey agree? Did the man dump her? It's more than that. Ashley was delighted at the thought. Gracie leaned closer to her. What's going on? Is there a secret involved? That man doesn't like women at all. His relationship with Kinsey is just a cover-up. He doesn't take her seriously at all. She wants to get married to him but he has no such plans, Ashley said. Chapter 1293 Gracie understood. Rich men nowadays have indeed seen everything. The women they keep by their sides are just their playthings. If those women want them to get married to them, that means they're cunning. Those men are even better at guarding against women than thieves. It's normal that they refuse to marry those women. Ashley agreed. Of course. Besides, the entertainment industry is so chaotic. Everyone knows that a woman will be tainted if she's in the industry. Kinsey isn't like you, Gracie. She got her family involved in the entertainment industry. It's impossible for the man's family to like her. Gracie was pleased by Ashley's words and smiled. Forget it, let's not talk about her anymore. Let's not ruin our moods. Initially, she had treated Kinsey as a competitor. Now, it seemed that she had worried too much. There was no need to go against Kinsey. Ashley stopped talking. Coincidentally, Kinsey and Luna walked up to her. She smiled and said, Kinsey, I didn't expect to see you here. Welcome. These words brought her closer to Pamela and placed her in the position of hostess. Kinsey nodded in greeting. Ashley walked in front of Kinsey and pointed her to a seat. You and your assistant can sit over there. Thank you, Kinsey said politely. Ashley smiled. Why didn't you answer mom's calls when something so serious happened? The whole family was worried about you. When she said that she was worried, it was obvious that she did not care at all. She was completely gloating. It was completely different from Julia's concern. Kinsey ignored her. Ashley continued, actually, that's normal. You know that a family like that won't easily compromise when it comes to selecting a daughter-in-law. But it doesn't matter. I think you should be mentally prepared. It's fine. The next time I see a good man, I'll introduce him to you. 
Kinsey tilted her head and smiled, her eyes bright. You should keep the good ones for yourself. The meaning behind her words was that Ashley herself was not good enough, so what right did she have to say such things to Kinsey? Ashley's expression did not change. The problem Kinsey was facing now was too great. It was enough for Ashley to tease her for many years, so she did not mind Kinsey's sharp tongue. Kinsey, I'm doing this for your own good. It's better not to have unrealistic dreams, Ashley advised earnestly. Ever since Kinsey defeated her in the Woods family's business competition, she had been unable to raise her head for a long time. However, everything was different now. Kinsey had suffered a loss in terms of her relationship, while Ashley had gotten a large sum of shares in Cyrus Corporation with Gracie. Cyrus Corporation had a lot of funds and had just been listed. The situation was favorable. When the time came, she would sell the original shares and earn a large sum of money. Her life would be smooth sailing and she would be proud of it. If it's a dream, of course, it's unrealistic, Kinsey said. Otherwise, how can it be called a dream? Ashley was not angry at being rebuked. Instead, she smiled happily. Then go ahead and sit. I'll go help greet the guests. As soon as she left, Luna couldn't help but say, Kinsey, that's your sister. Why was she talking so strangely? She made me feel uncomfortable watching her. Your gut feeling is right. She's that kind of person. Why is there such a big difference even though you're both from the same family? Luna said as she looked at Ashley's back. Chapter 1294. Luna took out her phone and said, Kinsey, many of my friends are buying shares of Cyrus Corporation. They all say that we'll definitely make a lot of money after buying them. Do you want to buy them? I'm not buying. You won't even take such a good opportunity. Kinsey smiled. Are you sure you can make money using this method? Although it's a little inappropriate to say this, Cyrus Corporation's prospects look really good. Previously, Mr. Hunt was almost defeated by them. In addition, Patricia's matter is also trending. My friend said that we can't have personal feelings when buying shares. After all, money is a separate matter. Kinsey said seriously, I suggest you don't buy them. Try to convince your friends too if you can. Why? Luna looked confused. Kinsey had never been a busybody. It was definitely not because she had fought with Simona and Pamela. It's just a feeling. Kinsey smiled. They say that there's risk in the stock market, and you have to be careful when investing. That's what I mean as well. Luna thought for a moment and agreed. Then I'll persuade them not to buy the shares. I won't buy them myself either. It's safer to save the money in the bank. After all, it's my hard-earned money. Wait here for me. I have to go to the bathroom. She stood up and handed her bag to Luna. Okay, okay. Luna nodded. Kinsey went to the bathroom to wash her hands and tidy her hair before turning to leave. Between the lobby and the bathroom was an extra-long passageway that required a turn. She hurried outside. A familiar figure walked over. It was Cyrus with two bodyguards beside him. Kinsey didn't expect to meet him here. She looked down at her path and quickly left. Cyrus stretched out his arm and leaned against the wall. His face was handsome, but the frivolousness in his eyes made Kinsey feel a little uncomfortable. Kinsey had no intention of interacting with him. She turned to the other side, intending to walk around him and leave. However, before she could circle around, Cyrus propped himself against the other side of the wall. Mr. Hunt, please make way. Cyrus gave a look, and the two bodyguards behind him retreated to the far entrance of the passage. This meant that not only did they intend to block Kinsey, but they also wanted to prevent anyone outside from entering. Kinsey's eyes darkened. She understood Cyrus's intentions and felt relieved. She laughed. What are you up to? Cyrus lowered his head and looked at Kinsey. The little face in front of him was as beautiful as a lotus flower. Her lips were as tender and delicate as roses. He had noticed Kinsey before, but at that time, he was not anxious at all. After taking over Hunt Group, Kingping Media Company would be his, and Kinsey would naturally be his too. But now, his plans for Hunt Group were ruined, and many of Cyrus's plans had disappeared. The woman standing in front of him was so delicious, but she was in a company belonging to Ethan, a man who only liked men. It was such a waste. Cyrus smiled. 
Kinsey, after Cyrus Corporation is established, we'll increase our investment in Golden Media. All the artists in Golden Media will benefit from this. Are you interested in coming to our side? I'll help you settle the breach of contract. I'm sorry, but I'm doing fine. I have no plans to jump ship. Chapter 1295. Think carefully. Hunt Group has never invested much in their entertainment company, and they've never been optimistic about the future development of Kingping Media. With your good aptitude, there's no need for you to fight to the death over there. Golden Media will give you more resources. Mr. Hunt, I appreciate your kindness, but I'm really sorry as I can't accept your kindness. Cyrus curled his lips into a mocking smile. Kinsey, what's so good about King Ping Media that makes you loyal to them? It's not about that. It's just the right thing to do, she said before continuing to walk past him. Cyrus reached out and grabbed her wrist. Kinsey's reaction was extremely fast. With the professional training she had received, Cyrus was no match for her. She threw a punch at Cyrus's abdomen. The tall Cyrus felt the pain and let go of her wrist. He held his abdomen and bent down. His expression was as ugly as a pig's liver. He gritted his teeth and yelled, Kinsey, how dare you? I'm sorry, Mr. Hunt. The company arranged for me to attend self-defense classes. Kinsey was still smiling as if she was just joking with him. If there's nothing else, I'll leave first. The two bodyguards rushed over and stopped Kinsey. Cyrus did not expect Kinsey to be such a tough nut to crack. On this occasion, he did not want to cause any more trouble. He said to them, let her leave. The two bodyguards stepped aside for her. She quickly disappeared down the corridor. Cyrus had already straightened his back and sneered. HMPH, I'll make you cry and beg for mercy after this. Let's go. The bodyguards followed behind Cyrus. Just as Cyrus turned around to leave, he was punched in the face. He was hit in the face and cursed in pain, who dares to lay a hand on me here? He was in tears from the beating. He couldn't control his physical reaction. When he finally opened his eyes, he saw that the person standing in front of him was Nick. Nick's eyes were indifferent, and his face was as calm as ever. His ordinary white shirt gave him a noble and distant aura. Nick, you hit me. Cyrus was even more furious. Usually, Nick was arrogant and ordered him around like a subordinate. Now, he actually still had such an attitude. Cyrus said angrily, are you fucking crazy? Did I offend you? Yes, you did. Nick looked into the depths of the corridor, but Kinsey was no longer there. Although Cyrus had not taken advantage of Kinsey and she had the ability to protect herself, this did not mean that what Cyrus had done was right or that Nick's anger could be appeased. When did I offend you? Just now, Nick said as he kicked Cyrus again. This time, Cyrus fell to his knees. Two bodyguards hurriedly stopped Nick. Nick looked at the two bodyguards coldly. The two bodyguards subconsciously let go of him and did not dare to stop him. You fucking, Cyrus cursed angrily. A dagger was thrown in front of him. Clang. The crisp sound of metal and floorboards hitting each other rang out. It was a chilling sound that hurt one's eardrums. This stopped Cyrus from cursing. He looked up and met Nick's gaze. Chapter 1296. There were turbulent waves hidden in the man's noble eyes. The half-melted ice collided with the waves in his deep eyes. He was thin and tall. When he spoke, he only lowered his eyes slightly. It was your right hand, right? What? Although Cyrus was angry, he couldn't help but answer Nick's question. Under that man's aura, it was as if all resistance was futile. You grabbed Kinsey's hand just now, Nick repeated as if it was a trivial matter. Yes. Cyrus had nothing to hide. Break two of your fingers yourself and I can pretend this never happened. Cyrus stood up angrily. Is there something wrong with your brain? What does Kinsey have to do with you? Listen carefully, Nick. You're just a business partner of ours. You still have to watch your behavior around me. Do you think you're the world's police? My father is timid and listens to you, but I don't have to. If you like to cut people's fingers so much, why don't you cut yours off? When Nick heard him, he didn't bother to argue. He reached out and slowly picked up his dagger. He turned around and walked away slowly. His footsteps seemed comfortable as if he were taking a leisurely stroll. Cyrus was stunned. 
His curses seemed to have been completely ineffective. What? What's going on? He watched Nick leave. Could Nick really be a man who looked strong on the outside but was actually weak on the inside? Was his usual aura just an act? Cyrus was in a daze when his phone rang. The urgent ringtone spread quickly through the air. He picked it up impatiently. Hello, what is it? Peter sounded a little anxious. Cyrus, what did you do to offend Nick? Are you out of your mind? I told you to get along with him. What did you do? What did I do? What exactly happened? He's divesting. Peter was so anxious that his voice was out of tune. He's withdrawing everything. Cyrus was also stunned. So be it. I don't want to serve him anymore. What nonsense are you talking about? If he withdraws, how can Cyrus Corporation open? You have to know that Nick alone owns more than half of the 40% shares of Hunt Group that we own. If he doesn't have us, he can find anyone else to work with. But if we don't have him, we won't be able to find anyone else. How can we open a company then? Peter's words almost shattered Cyrus's eardrums through the phone. Cyrus's hand slowly fell from his ear. It turned out that he had really underestimated Nick. It turned out that he did have the right to order him around. Cyrus, are you still listening? I order you to apologize to Nick immediately and salvage this matter. Otherwise, our family will lose everything and sleep on the streets. Even though he had already held the phone far away, Peter's voice was too fierce and loud. These words still entered Cyrus's ears. The words hit his eardrums, making his mind buzz. Outside, there were still a lot of guests and investors waiting to attend the founding ceremony of Cyrus Corporation. Chapter 1297. And now, Cyrus was having a difficult battle. There was no time to think about the relationship between Nick and Kinsey, nor could he probe deeper. Cyrus only had one choice now, which was to apologize to Nick and complete what Nick had just instructed him to do. If he didn't do this, everything he had would come to nothing today. Cyrus gritted his teeth and hung up on Peter. He made a video call to Nick. The phone rang, each ring destroying his nerves. He gripped the phone. The call was about to end, and his nerves were at peak tension before Nick finally answered. Nick's noble face was still calm as if nothing had happened. After Cyrus picked up the call, he gritted his teeth and said, Nick, I'm sorry. I apologize for my rude attitude just now. Really? Nick said lazily. I apologize to you sincerely. Cyrus had no choice but to restrain his temper. Please give me a chance. I was anxious just now and didn't care about your feelings. Please don't take it to heart. Aren't you and your father a little too naive? If you anger me, do you think that saying a simple apology like this will make me change my mind? Then isn't my anger too unworthy? Do you think I lack apologies? He had to say, just tell me how you want me to apologize to you. He fiercely suppressed the ruthlessness in his eyes, not letting his true emotions show. In the future, when he was standing in a high position, Nick and Ethan would be at his mercy. Nick smiled. Didn't I just tell you how you should apologize? Cyrus held his breath. Nick was referring to what he had just said. Break two of your fingers yourself and I can pretend this never happened. Two fingers. Fingers. Cyrus's breathing quickened. Nick placed his phone on the table and slowly poured out a cup of tea. Since you're feeling troubled, I won't waste your time. I'm going to drink tea now. Goodbye. Wait. Cyrus hurriedly stopped Nick and said, I'll do as you say. Nick smiled and picked up his teacup, gently inhaling the fragrance with an intoxicated expression. Cyrus gritted his teeth so hard that they were about to shatter. He got his bodyguard to retrieve the dagger. But he could not bring himself to do it. Across from him, Nick was still sipping his tea at a leisurely pace. When he had enough of the aroma, he picked up his cup and took a sip. He carefully savored the essence of that tea. Cyrus really could not bear to do this. He asked his bodyguards to come over and do it. He instructed them to hold down his hand and strike. The bodyguards did not dare to do so. However, after being scolded by Cyrus, they had no choice but to make a move. Nick sipped his tea, his attention attracted by the scenery outside the window. The bustling capital was filled with traffic. At this moment, the lights had just been lit, and neon lights filled the sky. 
This was the most luxurious scene in the world. The sound of traffic and the hubbub of voices reached his ears from afar. Suddenly, from the other side of the phone, a shrill cry disturbed the moment. Nick turned around. The image on the phone screen was a striking red. Chapter 1298. Kinsey returned from the bathroom and quickly returned to her seat. Although she had no problem defeating Cyrus, she knew in her heart that if Cyrus had called over many bodyguards, something would have happened. I was a little careless. I shouldn't have gone to the bathroom alone. Seeing that she didn't look too good, Luna quickly asked, Kinsey, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. I just had a little trouble. Ah, what trouble? I should have gone along with you. What happened? Fortunately, it's nothing serious. Cyrus tried to poach me to his company. I refused. He didn't give you a hard time, did he? Luna was nervous. He doesn't have the time or the guts to do anything on such an occasion today. Thinking of this, Kinsey finally calmed down. Cyrus indeed didn't have the time to do anything to her today. And he would never have that chance again. However, when she thought about how he had pinched her wrist, Kinsey still felt a little disgust. She took out a tissue and wiped the non-existent stain on her wrist. The people at the side were discussing in low voices. Don't you know that Cyrus Corporation also has the capital injection of Make Wealth Investment? Make Wealth Investment has always been an excellent investment company overseas. It earns money from whatever it invests in. So this time, Cyrus Corporation will definitely succeed. With the establishment of the Cyrus Corporation, Hunt Group will be in trouble. I really didn't expect the pair of father and son to fight like this. What's there to be surprised about? Patricia killed her best friend's family. This matter can't be washed away, right? Patricia's son is definitely not a good person. Peter probably doesn't want to live with such a mother and son, so he became independent. In that case, Peter's actions are understandable. I heard that Simona is a mistress, but it seems that Simona and Peter didn't do anything wrong, right? If I were Peter, I would also be afraid of those people around me. No matter what, I'm very optimistic about the future development of Cyrus Corporation. With Nick's investment, I have to get my hands on Cyrus Corporation's shares as soon as possible. Take me with you. Count me in. A chance like this won't come again. Count me in too. You guys can buy more shares. I'll just buy a few. Kinsey pursed her lips helplessly when she heard Nick's name being mentioned. As she was thinking, Luna pulled her arm and said, Look, Cyrus is here. Compared to Mr. Hunt, Cyrus is really much worse. However, he's indeed very handsome among ordinary people. Perhaps it's because Simona's genes are not bad. Seeing Cyrus, Kinsey's wrist felt a little uncomfortable. However, when she thought about how she had punched him, she felt that they were even. Unfortunately, she was too anxious at that time. That punch should have been aimed directly at his face for daring to act like a hooligan with her. With this thought in mind, Kinsey looked at Cyrus and realized that his face seemed to be a little swollen. It seemed that he had really been punched. However, perhaps because he had always looked bloated, Kinsey didn't pay much attention to his appearance. She couldn't tell if he was born like that or if he had been punched. Luna added, Kinsey, look, Cyrus seems to be injured. It looks like he's seriously injured. Chapter 1299. Hearing this, Kinsey took another look. This time, she realized that Cyrus's right hand was wrapped in gauze, and there seemed to be blood on it. This was strange. It had only been half an hour since Kinsey came out of the bathroom, but Cyrus was suddenly injured. And he was so badly hurt. It's really unlucky for him to be injured like this on such a good day. I heard from my mother and the others that the entire company will be in trouble if he's injured at such a time, Luna said as she observed. Serves you right, Kinsey said softly. This was probably the lesson someone like Cyrus deserved. She reached out and pulled Luna to sit down. Don't shout. Do you want to be kicked out? Luna quickly sat down. I haven't seen such a lively scene in a long time. I want to continue watching. Peter and Simona were with Cyrus. The two of them had just found out about Cyrus's injured hand. Knowing that it was because of Nick, the couple were angry and heartbroken. 
However, seeing that the ceremony was about to begin and that they would miss the auspicious time if they delayed it, they could not ask too much. They could only come out and meet everyone first. Kinsey stared at Cyrus's injury and wondered what was wrong with him. Peter and Simona walked out together with calm expressions. Pamela also went forward with a smile. Everyone below the stage looked at the family of four enviously. The congratulatory words were endless. Some elders also said softly, it seems that Patricia is indeed too outrageous. After Peter lost her as his wife, his entire life has developed in a very positive and healthy direction. Yes, that's true. Pamela and Cyrus are also outstanding. I can tell that this family is developing well. Although they can't compare to Hunt. Group, who says they can't create another Hunt group? Peter and Simona heard these words and smiled even brighter. Peter was originally considered outstanding in the Hunt family, but he was far inferior to old Master Hunt. Later on, he was far inferior to Ethan. His pride was attacked by two generations of people. Only at this moment could he feel proud. As for Simona's identity as a mistress, it was a secret that could not be revealed to the public. She had never dared to announce it to the public, but there were still many criticisms in the industry. This time, by dealing a blow to Patricia and establishing Cyrus Corporation, the couple could finally make a comeback. It would probably not be difficult to announce their marriage to the public. The family could finally put their identities in public. Although Gracie and Ashley did not follow them onto the stage, they felt honored. Half of the audience were people who were on good terms with Peter and his wife, while the other half were people who did not care about how things developed. The atmosphere was very lively. Kinsey and Luna watched the show while Luna chattered. Peter raised his glass. The discussions below the stage slowly stopped as they waited for him to speak. Everyone, thank you for taking the time to attend the founding ceremony of Cyrus Corporation. As everyone knows, although Cyrus Corporation has just been established, its predecessor, the Peter Corporation, has been established in Mandarin for a long time and its performance is obvious. Chapter 1300. This time, I chose to come to the capital to establish this new company. Firstly, it's because I'm concerned about my homeland. Secondly, it's also because I originally lived and grew up here. I can't bring myself to leave this place. Thank you for your support. Peter Corporation will work hard with you to achieve good results. There was a round of applause from the audience. Peter smiled and said, our businesses might overlap with Hunt Group, but everyone knows that I'm from the Hunt family and am used to these businesses. Even if we overlap, it's inevitable. Ha ha. Everyone laughed. Someone replied, that's normal. After all, you had those experiences when you were young. We acknowledge CEO Hunt's ability. Come, let me toast everyone. Cyrus, Pamela, and Simona also raised their glasses and smiled at everyone. After a round of toasts, Peter said, now, I announce that Cyrus Corporation is officially established. We will conduct the ribbon cutting ceremony. Halfway through his sentence, a surprised voice came from below the stage. Is that Ethan? Am I seeing things? Mr. Hunt. Mr. Hunt is here. It's true. He's more handsome than in those photos. Quick, turn on your phone. It's true. With this man's height, he must be the real Ethan. The people in the back row were no longer in the mood to listen to Peter. There was a small commotion when Ethan entered. Everyone was out of their seats as they watched and took photos. Originally, Ethan was very low-key and not many people recognized him. However, after the previous incident where his photos were revealed, he was already famous in everyone's hearts. His presence and aura were very strong, so he naturally attracted everyone's attention the moment he appeared. Wow, he's really handsome. Someone was dumbfounded. Ethan strode in. His tall and straight body was dressed in a high-end suit. He raised his eyes and glanced into the distance. His powerful aura made people not dare to make any noise. He had the temperament of someone who had been in a high position for a long time. It made people lower their heads in front of him. Peter was very dissatisfied with this sudden turn in events. What was Ethan doing here? Simona said, Honey, don't worry too much. Hunt Group is his. There's nothing we can do about it. But is Cyrus Corporation also his? 
This is our family matter today. He can't interfere. Of course. Can he still rely on the Hunt family's foundation to put on airs everywhere he goes? Peter snorted. Simona said gently, he's your son, after all. You should greet him properly. Let's not be rude. Peter said loudly, Ethan, are you here today to celebrate the establishment of my company? You're my son, so it's only right for you to come here. If there's no problem, please sit in the front row. Simona also smiled and said, Assistant, please arrange a seat for Mr. Hunt. I really didn't expect him to come. I was afraid that you would be busy, so I didn't invite you. If I had known, we would have sent the invitation. It's not necessary to get me a seat. I'm not here today to congratulate you. After Ethan finished speaking, Patricia appeared at the door. Seeing Patricia appear, Peter's and Simona's expressions changed slightly. The people below the stage also whispered, it's fine if Ethan is here, but why is Patricia here? Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos.